Cause you're his cheeseburger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do whizzy. <laughs> no. All right. Welcome back to the game, guys. It's been a, a little bit of a time, but uh, what can you do about a lot of bit of the time? A, a lot of a lot of bit of the time, but what can you do about holidays? A Less. lot of little bit. Last time, a lot of D and D. Yes. Who wants <laughs> to? Somebody had the shits. <laughs> Who wants to give us an actual recap? <laughs> All right, so check it. Insert, <laughs> insert clip from previous sessions here. Okay, so like 10 years ago, Tony Stark. <laughs> no, seriously, I though. I, I would watch that, though. No, seriously, though. Who wants to give us an actual recap? Um, we we fought a bunch of crazy, uh, watery, bloaty, in theory bitches, and then we, we, met we, a giant we were walking snake away, on? and then Theron we froze wanted them to... And then blow them up. Yeah. I made a, a water bomb thing. Yeah, that was Aaron pretty cool. did some crazy awesome shit with some yeah, ice and I wanted to do more crazy awesome lottery, shit with yeah. the ice. And we were like, don't poke the sleeping bear. What we're looking for isn't here. So we're trying to walk the <laughs> <laughs> Did you just intentionally rhyme? or was No. The... Okay. Fucking came out okay. like my cousin. Okay. What the fuck? For I don't actually have a good time. What the fuck? At least I don't know, maybe. For clarification, you guys had entered the gardens of Ilya, uh, well, to talk to yeah. seeking out yeah. um, something that Tilly was trying to find for herself. I believe it was a way to reverse the curse that you had on your being. Correct. Yes. If I could turn and that time. You guys. Have you met a survivor of the crowhead? Yes. Uh, you guys went into the gardens of Ilya, not knowing what happens down here. Uh, apparently, it's some kind of giant naturally grown, grown labyrinth and you need to survive and make your way through the various trials and perils that this garden has set up for you. So far you've encountered a group of drowned maidens, you've Not met really maidens. Uh, a giant serpent known as an Andregny who thank god you appeased with lots and lots of money. So good on you Not for that. Much. Um, it still was a decent chunk. You guys had survived and are taking a short respite, uh, respite, respite, um, from your encounter with the drowned maidens with the, with a large mangrove oaken warily watching you from a distance. Last, last I checked, there was a lot of drama going on yes. with the party. Yes. And on yeah, that topic. Which we left out. Thanks for, it's a good job. And on that topic. <laughs> Kef, you you see Keth crying. <laughs> All right, we'll just leave it here. <laughs> Fine, I'll bite. Why are you crying, Keth? Everybody, everybody Mom and Dad fighting. Johnny, Johnny. sorry. Until he won't stop drinking. <laughs> Is this do you, do your family therapy? Right on this project. <laughs> and what the fuck does a pilus have to do with the dwarves? And my first read for me all over again. <laughs> Wait, so who's drinking again? Because it sounds like it's Ken. <laughs> this is so deep. <laughs> it's like This was got deep. <laughs> Mom and Dad are fighting. I don't think I want to play anymore. <laughs> Why won't anyone just stop fighting? How? Well, you said you wanted to do something when we started session today. Um, I talked to you about this uh, between sessions, so I'm hoping this will that what I want to do won't change. Yeah, sure. But I create like a using druidcraft I create like a lily pad table and like a whole bunch of like I forget what uh, like plant they're called pitcher plants or something it's like it's like pitcher those really big deadly. those really big leaves that that like had grown the, the jungle I think oh just like gigantic like ferns or something like jack in the pulpit I, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> they're just like really huge leaves but like nondescript I, giant forest ferns fair enough and There's too many to like, talk. I turn them into chairs, sort of. Like, really high-back chairs. It's like the forest grows oh, around you and makes a little uh, resting <laughs> yeah. we're, we're area. We're having tea. 
in the middle of a dungeon. Well, you don't have tea, think... but the uh, the plants kind of grow up in a way that they kind of make a enclosure around you, so you're at least relatively safe from any sort of threat that might be around you. That's uh, right. How once you do this, you kind of do feel the earth below your group and the water as well just kind of shake a little bit, as you can assume the the mangrove oak in is submerging himself back into the water. So, like, and I've sort of made chairs for everyone at yeah. this point. So mine's more like a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Yours looks like a pitcher. Your yours is a non toxic picture plant. Oh, Kat is like crying into a bucket and all the liquid goes. <laughs> well, no, the way she cries is weird because the tears bucket. the tears roll down her cheeks, but then they just kind of get absorbed back in in her chin. It's like it looks like waterfall of tears just recycling into her head. I made you a sweater with my tears. That's gross. I'm going. I'm going full therapist right now. So <laughs> that is very much a howl so- thing. It sounds like there's a lot of there's some stuff that you guys need to talk about. <laughs> the wailing of your naiad can be heard throughout the gardens in every direction. I saw sort of, <laughs> like even the monsters like shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean that's what the oaken was like before. Oh yeah, that's true. I saw a form a bubble around uh, cats, so I like. <laughs> I invoke the cone of silence. Yeah. Uh, I have invoked the cone of silence. Oh. <laughs> you may speak only when you have the conch. <laughs> oh, magic conch. You may only speak when you have the fern. <laughs> what do we do? So, for the Nothing. Klondike bar. I need a fucking drink. Um, I'm sick of you, I will give you some of my... <coughs> Some of my special drink. It's tea. Is it tea? Is it's tea. Tea. It's tea. Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> if not, put it the fuck back. That's pretty cool. As far as far as you know, it is. Just a no. Just a no. Uh, even with the cone of silence, on, I just kind of the cup that Tilly's trying to push away. I just push it closer towards her. <laughs> Throws him back. <laughs> You're still crying in your bubble. <laughs> No, she stopped, and then she started again. Yeah. I like the part where she wasn't there. (laughs) Uh, Regardless, you guys have an hour or so until... It's basically a short rest. You have just enough time to uh, regain any sort of uh, abilities or skills that you might have lost on a... From your encounters before. You would have regained your short rest abilities, but not your long rest. So no spells lost, right? Well, on the... Well, do paladins get their spell slots back on a shorter long no, rest? Long rest. No, no, I think it's only warlocks that get their paladins. Don't no, get no damn. spells, no HP. You. It takes a short rest for a mage knight to a bit to apply uh, apply a rune. However, so. if you would like to, I would allow. If you lost hit points in the last combat, I would allow you to roll one of your hit die to gain health. You can use as many as you feel like you need. Yes, but that's. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, if you guys wanted to re to roll, uh, regain hit dice for your short rest, you could do so at this point. You have the time to do so. Is there anything anyone else wanted to do while you guys have a hour of resting? Please stop fighting. Is there like, is is there anything that could do with the violin while waiting? Um, you could make. Longer rest, right? Because I can because I I just want to assume that when there's a lot of just emotions back and forth <laughs> and waiting for 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 shit to happen. Rilla can just yeah 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 like just be working on yeah, that. Yeah, you don't really make too much. You sitting don't, around waiting for. You don't make too much progress on your instrument, but you do get a little bit of it carved away. Not too much to really make any headway. Nothing noticeable, but you do. Um, in the hour time that you have, you do feel at least satisfied with the progress you've made. Well, better better something than nothing. That's true. Better than sitting around waiting for everybody else to figure out their own crap and just... I think it's about time we had a party discussion. Uh, I'm at full HP. (laughs) Well, that doesn't mean you need to roll anything, love. Way to no, go. That's why she's crying. Oh. <laughs> because, oh, I thought, like, people dropping. Like, oh. she has no. Like, she has, <laughs> ah! 
No other response other than scream and cry. Until he, until he turns into seal form and hops over to Cat Clap. <laughs> Hold the squish. <laughs> So you, so you are now being uh, Tilly. You are now being pet by a uh, cat who is still making like little sniffles, like. Makes eye contact. Makes like a. Did you boop? You did you just boop her snoodle? No, her snoodle of her boop. That just pushes her tongue oh. out. Oh. <laughs> She's not gonna stop. Tilly, you are raised into the air by your uh, by your companion as you get up, <laughs> as you then get your uh, tum tum tickled by naiad fingers. She sounds like one of those freaking uh, putties from Power Rangers. Like, oh my god! But it's a seal after Camille. No, it's it's the it's the putties from Power Rangers. People know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Do you come out of your shield form? Thoroughly p- uh, pink in the cheeks from laughter. Blah! As you just see her uh, open up the the cell, came out just blah, and fun. comes out. She threw up funnies. She threw herself up. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much how it looks. The seal like barks up until you. <laughs> Which you still can't get over. It's still kind of creepy. Yeah. I mean, that's right, because I was like, well, how? I was like, wait, right? Because <laughs> the player knows, but the house does not. Yeah. I was like, that should be a good half at this, point, of this at this point, by now. At this point, Hal is just like, okay, so that's a thing. <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> we're, 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 like, we're, everyone's okay with this? Okay. What? Like, I'm hot and she's cute. What's the difference? You get used to it. You're guessing you're no? What is this? What? Can you... So, <laughs> and I turned <laughs> like it's a scare doing that. And I turned it there. <laughs> and I look at him. And he looks at me. Johnny? <laughs> Bad Johnny. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Liz? Uh, <laughs> nope. Oh my, nobody's doing anything and he's just, cr- Kev is just crying. Literally. <laughs> Nobody. Kev. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bring it back, guys. Howell, as you were saying. Theron. See? I've only known you for a short time, but if I could, if I can, if I'm interpreting what I'm seeing, what I've seen so far, it might sound like... Hank, we need to talk. About? I, I look at you expectantly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to interject. <laughs> to be fair, I'm lost. we need to talk, but out of respect, <clears throat> Howell doesn't really have much to say about it. Yeah. As you are the newest person. I know. Therefore, Oops. don't bring it Oops. up. The fuck? Like, H- Howell has no right to bring it up, is what I'm saying. I'm... He's no, trying to play mediator. I, I know, yeah, I, I know that that's what he is, but it's like at Santa, it's like how being the newest member, it's like okay, but it, it's was, he wasn't here around long enough. It, it's fine. Let's just let's just keep going. I think we, well, most of us here would agree that we shouldn't seek out conflict when we're not being challenged actively. When we're clearly outmatched. I want to be the very best, <laughs> like no one ever was. <laughs> But we're With not the, the pommel very... of the other partisan. <laughs> like, full force, bang! Theron, we know. But we have to survive this together. We can't be the very best. Shut up, shoot. You can get a frosty feeling from the stash. Like, if I, if I was in your place, I would listen. Not in an angry tone, but just like in a, like, just... Listen. Thank Come you, on, Theron. Thank you, talking staff lady. You're welcome. <laughs> I love uh, <laughs> <laughs> you. You don't gently lick the I, staff. I put it. But what if I did? <laughs> I'm sorry. It uh, tastes no, like really. <laughs> it. It tastes like a cheap. <laughs> I could take Stop. it from him. Stop it. What did, what did you want to say? I, I put a friendly hand on his shoulder. <laughs> so you want to be the best that you can be, is that correct? 
I don't want to just be the best I can be. I want to be the best there ever was. To catch the... Stop. No. Stop. James. Stop. Stop. It will be meme damage. There will be. Um, I just want to be the best wizard ever. Ever. But no one's here to see it. But they'll. But we can tell the songs. Not if we die here. She's right, So the you best know. way to share this is to make it out and tell everybody. And then we can lie about it later. I like that. You know yes. what? Yes. Yes. Let's do that. Let's just get out of here first. <laughs> Fair you enough. I want to leave. You get another. If we leave, then, it, then we'd be giving up uh, uh, giving up on what Till you wanted to do. We're not I leaving, didn't say leaving. I say we turn around. I say we get through here. Kath, take the tears out of your ears. <laughs> she then pulls out like some weird like weed that's, been, that's got stuck in her ear. I didn't actually use think that use was... your heelys to escape your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had like some I, weird. I actually didn't think of what they said. Like, yeah, uh, Kes, you actually did have some weird like a uh, forest gunk stuck in your ear, like some lichen. Uh, there was like a weird shrimp mushroom in there. <laughs> Um, hamster. <laughs> you thought you pulled out a piece of gold from the Andregeny encounter, but it was just a really colorful rock. I'm gonna keep this for Okay, later. colorful rock. You have a singular colorful rock. You're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did think when it said take the tears out of yours, I'm like, wait. <laughs> you, you figured it out after I was said. like, oh, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> so... All right, we're good now. Well, let's continue on because we're technically here because of Tilly. So technically, yeah, no, we are here because of Tilly. So we are. That's the reason why yes. we entered. No. Yes, you are here because yeah, so. uh, this was a place that Tilly was searching for. Yeah. I mean, I remind you what happens when I get mad. You lose you half of your body weight. Like you get angry. You, you freeze up. I need I remind you what happened to those witch hunters last time I got mad. Oh yeah, no, no one wants that to happen again. But uh, I'll have to ten thousand gold pieces. I'll have to ask about that later. But for now, ask them about it later. I thought we already talked about that. We did. Yeah. Okay. So. Howell is just meaning uh, tell him the story later. I'm guessing that you guys uh, Howell have tell him. had your hour long hmm. short rest. The the plant life around you that Howl formed into vague furniture esque shapes. Yes. Vague. It's great. It's okay. It's it's workable. It's not it's masterwork. Okay. It's alright. It Johnny. <laughs> as the plants just kind of go back into the ground slowly, slowly, kind of like the coils of the Andregeny you guys saw before. No undulating black scales in the water though. Now, Can we now that, pick a fight with the next thing we see. Let the fights come to us. <coughs> Dep- it depends on if we take it or not. Never start a fight, but always finish it. Never and start a fight, but a fire. A fire's easier. What? <laughs> Lightning's faster. Moving on. That that is true. Regardless. I don't have any masters. Then again, I'm only in my third year. <laughs> I guess he was more like my. I'm gonna ask you to go away. I guess he was more like my dad. <laughs> dad? Kind of. Closest thing to a dad I ever had. I'm guessing you guys continue across yeah. the, the labyrinth from where you guys are? Yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. We're going. What was that area? I believe you said you were mm. going to the light blue area. No, pink. pink. Okay, you were going to the pink area first. We're going into pink. And then going into light blue. Sure, that's what we'll call it. Okay. <laughs> um, just real quick, is this me? Uh, I don't really have a mini, miniature right now. Uh, here. Well, no, Faith, that's no, what I remember. the box. Uh, don't use the box. Don't, no, no, Dad, no, no, no Dad, no, no, not the box. Julian, don't that use the box. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are continuing Walking to the talking. opposite side <laughs> of of the Gardens of Ilya, mm-hmm. searching, searching out the next key, well, what you can assume to be a key that would open up the next vine blockade. The area you come into looks pretty much the same as all the other uh, paths you've seen, very overgrown with trees, leaves, you can hear exotic bird song above you. Other than that, it's just 
your group here, and the sound of water. But all around you, though, you don't see water because there's vine walls on all sides of you. You can see that there are paths that split off, but you can't tell what's beyond these massive vine walls, which cascade over you guys. You guys can roll me a quick perception check based on hearing. I hear a lot of things. <laughs> Johnny Tightlips, what do you see? I see a lot of things. What? Simpsons episode. Oh. Because he does because he says very little. Oh, okay. So it's like, but that's going to be loud. <laughs> what was your perception? Yes, perception check based on hearing. Sharks have ears. Sharks have ears. Ooh, I credit that. Oh, you rolled a one? You rolled a one. Hey, Jerry's got the you tried stuff. And we're off. And we're off for good you start. Did it. You, uh, so you get the you tried star, which means you are immune to ones until someone else rolls a one, and then you pass it to them. I did good. You did good, but now you're not immune to ones. No. No. Now, now you can suffer there like everyone else. <laughs> No, I was the one who was immune to ones. I had a hand. Yeah, but All now right. he is. Now you can it suffer was like me, everyone and else. It, and now it's Jeff. Yeah. Uh, so the, I think the goal of the, to, of this game is for everybody to at least get that the, at least once. The star once. I don't know if you run the game where you're, and that one means instant failure or not, but that was an eight total. Okay. So, no, well, it's like you still roll the one and so you, you get that thing, but yeah. it's like yeah, you add the total one. Uh, yeah, how will yeah, you so don't pick up plus. anything. Like maybe your brain is still just kind of trying to process the group at large and what's going on. Damages this group in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't have that. You're just so. like monologuing to yourself and yeah. thinking internal thoughts. Uh, going around the table, <laughs> Taku, what did you roll? Uh, uh, total, yes. uh, 24. Okay, 24. 9. 9. 12. 12. Uh, 20. Alright, in general, um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist oh, okay. to, uh, well, it doesn't take well, a... Well, what's a rocket? Very, it, it doesn't yep. take a firearm specialist to Actually, oh. to hear this. Uh, you I can, think we know what rockets are, but it wouldn't be like This isn't like a rocket spaceship. surgery. <laughs> it's not hard to pick up in the distance from approximately the direction where like you I guys came in the table. howling of wolves similar howling to the wolf. ones that you guys heard last session it doesn't seem to be a super large group but you do hear their mournful howling and bailing in the distance like, from behind you bailing? like a loud like uh, baleful cry oh okay I've just never heard somebody actually use bailing. Well, like now bailing. you have. What do? It seems to be coming from behind you guys, somewhere in the distance. I want to not go there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to not go there? Because it might be too many. Well, it's definitely not as many as you heard before, but you don't really, you can't really get a good gauge on how many of these uh, wolf-like creatures there are just from the from the cries. Mm. A lot. No, it's not as much as you heard before. It's, they may have split off into separate packs. Like I said, it's not as many as you heard in your previous encounter with the Drowned Maidens, but it's still a, a sizable chunk. You can tell at least that much from how loud it is. I would like to point this out to all present, that we are students, not soldiers. It's not our job to pick a fight with and kill every monster we see. You're students. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's a student. How far exactly do you plan on following us, Hal? That's funny, it's a little experience. Oof. Big oof. You helped me in my time of need. You didn't hurt my and balls. I will return the favor. Okay, so you're stuck with us. So mm -hmm. therefore, I guess you're our student in a way. Yeah, also, no he was charisma. stuck before. What has a club? <laughs> Really what? smart, low charisma. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yes, you've said that before. No, uh, how would you like to continue on? There's just... You can't really see any yeah. discernible sign of what might lie ahead of you. The paths just kind of twist and turn in a an awkward maze of vegetation. Well, um, guys, if I might bring this up... 
If the maze is inherently two-dimensional, there is actually a way, surefire, that you can beat a labyrinth. You stick your hand on the wall and just keep walking. Eventually, you'll find yourself at the exit. Probably. Can't argue that. So, uh, Keth, did you want to take up the lead with this thought process? Yes, the tank is going to act like a tank now. <laughs> okay, Keth. So I'm going to investigate as I go along looking for things that, uh, that might be traps. Okay. Emphasize <laughs> on investigate. Okay, so you can roll me an investigation first. check then. Yep. Just Keth first because she's the one actively doing it in the front. Nope, Ted. I mean, vines, vines, lots of vines. This thing. <laughs> the rest of you guys can now roll an investigation mm-hmm. check. I just gave it to Keth first because she oh, was dang. the first one who had asked. Was great. Like, we'll go around the table from Taku once everyone's done rolling. Okay. No budging. Wait, I'm sorry, what, are you, what was it again? Investigation. Investigation, okay. Shoot, where was I? Um, you don't really need to, like, place your eight. miniatures in marching okay, order, but... Eight. Yes, what did you roll, uh, Taku? Three. Three. <laughs> Crit 20, from you, so like total... 22. 22. Real life. Modded 20. Okay, modded 20. Howl. Uh, no plus investigation, but I got an 18. Nice. And Theron. Um, modded 18. Okay, uh... You don't... Everyone bought me. Yeah, talk. <laughs> you don't make out anything, uh, but... As you guys walk around in oh. various points yeah, of the maze, like, you do start walking down various corridors and pathways and at certain points you nearly fall through the vines <gasps> as you guys rolled high enough uh you guys feel yourselves uh those of you who rolled you guys rolled generally high except for taku and Kef. uh painstakingly mediocre yeah uh when you guys have your hands out feeling along the walls to see if they're booby trapped or anything, you actually feel your arm start to fall through the vegetation as if it wasn't even there. Could I look into those little nooks? See if there's well, there's there? not really nooks. You can't really like see through the vegetation, but at certain points when you put your hand against it, it just goes right through. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's an illusion. It's a lie. <laughs> Let's walk through it. Do you want to walk through one of the areas that you put your hand through? Yes. Tell you, before you do that, rope. Alright, so we got chains. Okay, uh, Tilly, you are lucky in that when you uh, lean in, you start to feel your body go forward. And you just see that poisonous water on the end that you come through. Like, you can see that uh, greenish hue to the water rippling as you almost come face to face with it. Getting a whiff of noxious fumes from the water. We know what's there. Yeah. Um, it seems a little obvious, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, sure. Um, What you doing? I'm going to... Use my innate furwalk magic. Okay. To cast detect magic. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there's magic all over there this place. Um. I'm gonna cast detect water in the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> and I learn it. I know if it's any school of magic, I know what it is. Ah, uh, it's not really any school of magic. It's just innately magical with some sort of a magical effect on it. It's not really any sort of a school of magic. Alright. Though if you could say anything, it would most likely be enchantment. If you could pinpoint anything. You're not you you're not a wizard. Enchantment but not illusion. Yes, the water itself. Oh. But in general this entire area just exudes uh magical auras everywhere. Interesting. And it kind of did we, shifts and changes every now and did then. Did we determine that the water had been enchanted, or...? The water definitely had some funky effects going on with it, yes. But we didn't... But I didn't know before that it was enchanted. Well, that's like the vague magic I thought, sense I thought got. before that it might have been, uh... The water had been poisoned? Yes. 
Like, Interesting. Okay. Like I said, generally this whole place has a magic oh, yeah. to it, but the water itself seems to have almost like an enchantment sort of aura to it. Somebody's <laughs> poison the water. Huh? <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> it was the snake. <laughs> it was not the snake. It's like, ma- snake it's like magic poison. Yeah, There's it's like magic poison. Interesting. Well, there's also... You're not a cowboy yet. Yeah. Yet. There's a boop on that (laughs) snoot. I got a nose ring to make me look more edgy. (laughs) Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Um, They whipped it badly. You can whip it. Whip it. Really bad. Mess it up. Their favorite treat, still the selkie on a string. And they picked that one. Okay. One whiffed it, then the rest were eh. Okay, continue, though. Um, can I use my detect magic to see where the where the vines begin and where they end? No, they just kind of all grow up everywhere. Well, I mean so, so that way I don't step in, step into or no, put you, my hand through it. No, you can't the, really uh, tell. Damn it. Confession time? I'm guessing you guys saw continue along this route, feeling oh, around. I feel like the time for that has passed. Well, what else are we going to pass the time with? Well, well, currently you're searching out the two of your searching I'm out the role rest. Playing in my role playing game, goddammit. Yes, Julian, I know. But currently you guys are searching out the other t- uh, keys to get through these walls. No, I mean, we can't talk while we're doing it. Did anyone else want to try to look through the, what you can assume to be the illusionary areas of the, the vine walls around you? Because Tilly did, and she okay. saw the poisonous water. Okay, bit of a PSA water. here, just for a, just for a moment. Uh, you know those little strawberry candies that your grandma had, had everyone's yeah. grandmother had in their, dish in their house? Well, I just had a maple bacon donut, and then I went and ate one of those candies, you know those horrible tastes like orange juice and toothpaste and like earwax and brat. So you're telling people not to do, do not what do they already know. <laughs> okay. This is disgusting and it hurts. So don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. NPSA. NPSA. Regardless. Um, Brought to you by anyway. the Sci- Smiling Naya Salvage Corporation. Do you um, anyway, try that. Try that. Stop um, that. <laughs> do you put? Do you? Any of you guys look through the areas that you felt your arms and your Hands go through. I'm but. not going to, but I will use my. I have a, a passive investigation of 15. Okay. Better than my active. plus zero two active. Okay, that is that is a much better uh, number. What are you trying to passively investigate? <laughs> uh, basically, I'm trying to determine what's going to, what I'm going to fall through and what I can stand on. Okay, like taking out your quarter staff, uh, kind of like yeah, poking it around to make sure that you're okay. Yeah, you can successfully like drag your quarter staff like through the illusionary bits and uh, or I'm pretty sure you might have a quarter staff on you. I I have have a staff which is you probably you know what? Never mind. So you take out your (laughs) why did I bring this? You have so you take out your staff and you basically use it as a way to see where the illusionary parts of the pathway and the vine walls are, and maybe after some five, six feet of where you are, your uh, staff gets snagged in brambles. So you can assume that parts of this area are similar in effect. You do hear the howling of the wolves, though, start to get closer. I would like to take a peek with my telescope. Okay. Where I'm you gonna... putting the telescope through the vine and looking through one end. Okay. Do you, this is through one of the illusionary areas, right? Yep. Water. You see the we see watery areas. You see trees. You can vaguely see in the distance the well, not vaguely, but you can see the waterfall uh, that you guys had exited, uh, entered around, and you can vaguely see the black curls of the Andrejni going through the I water. Obviously, wave and then pull back in. Oh no, it's not the head. It's just like the back of the creature just kind of undulating like through. Like a sea serpent. And, yeah. skirt. and I, I just mentioned, you know, if it weren't so abjectly terrifying, it would actually be kind of pretty. <laughs> yeah, like the... You can still appreciate it. You just deadly. It too. It's deadly. That's what I meant. What I meant. Uh, 
What is your uh, passive perception? Bad. Just tell me. Bad. Julian? Nine. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. That 20, is... 20, Never say that again. No. 22 <laughs> passive perception, if that matters. Passive investigation of, of 16, though. Okay, no, it would be a perception, though. Uh, Rilla, did you want to do anything? Your companions are making sure that you're not stepping through any of the illusionary areas. Uh, your group in general does hear the howling of wolves getting closer every moment. Am I currently being attacked? No. Am I currently dying? No. Am I dead? No. Then I'm doing everything that I need to be doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to be doing right now? Besides not being dead. Um, and not being here. <laughs> that I'm sorry that Literal, you... Literally, absolutely nothing. I can't think of anything right now. I'm just sort of... You're just there. I'm, I'm taking... I'm, I'm, I'm taking... Uh, I'm taking the I'm taking the end of the line, making sure everybody's not uh, falling bring, into ambushed. Bringing up the rear, then rear guard. Okay, sure. so okay, so you're rear guarding. Got it. I'm well, making sure I'm watching your back, so uh, so. And making uh, sure that these creatures the don't come after you. In that case, I want you to roll me a perception check. Hmm, that's a sixteen. Okay, uh, you can start to hear the shuffling of paws on the foliage and mm. low, heavy breathing. Oh, boy. Bad puppy. And there's several of these pawing sounds on the I ground. Hear, so, guys, I hear pawing sounds and low growling. Can just be prepared for some shit when they show up. Give me a moment. I might be able to give us a way out of this fight. Sounds fun. I also have an idea, but I actually <coughs> out of my bag earlier. I pulled out I pulled out a rapier, a pointy stick. Yes, but it was one of the things I wrote a rune on. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Theron, mm-hmm. what would you like to do? Done your after Theron your uh, group and you have established there are parts of this region that are definitely illusionary and Rilith has said that there is something coming up on your rear end. Is there anything in front of us? No, it's just multiple pathways looping around the foliage. You can't really tell where they go specifically. It's just kind of a clusterfuck. Uh, that wouldn't be the first time something came up on Theron's rear end. <laughs> <laughs> I should know. Yeah, last time it was the police that you did. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'll, just, I'll just stay with everybody else. What everybody else wants to uh, do. Keeping on guard with your your wizard stick on hand. Sure. Okay. Uh, I keep... also put up my rear end. <laughs> no. No more rear ends, jokes, Careful Liz. Stare. No. No more. Okay. Uh, Rilith, you then start <laughs> to see... In the rustling of the foliage around you, you start to see bristles of stormy black gray fur kind of starting to creep up over the the bushes and yellow eyes looking in the general direction of your group. And the air behind you gets very, very cold as this happens. Silky lady. Um... You might want to take it to uh, keep a wits about you. That cold temperature never really means anything good. You hear the voice from Prominence speak oh. to you. I was like, who's the French? No, that's the voice from Prominence. Oh. <laughs> can I identify the these animals? Um. Well, you can turn in the direction that you see Rilith is looking in because she did give you the okay. knowledge of, hey guys, there's something coming up behind us. So... Uh, yeah, you can either roll me an Arcana or Nature. Whichever one you'd like. Uh, Nature. Yeah, sure, go ahead. It has to be Nature. I feel at some point everybody's going to have a talking weapon. No. 19. 19. not a talking weapon. So, based on the the area around you getting very cold very quick, the the yellow eyes kind of looking at you guys from a distance, and the the dark fur bristling behind the foliage, you can tell 
vaguely you don't have a clear visual on them. You think these might be night hounds, which are... 22 passive perception? Mm, this was for an active check. I'll roll active if you need me to. No, I'll, yeah, uh, you can surmise that these creatures are night hounds, which <laughs> might look like wolves, but are definitely not. Um, they are a sort of monstrosity that look very wolf-like, and they are often used as uh, bloodhounds by less than savory creatures. Some Given how they can us. track people through portals. They're more like umami creatures. Like what? I've been waiting to mm. test out this one room. Oh, great. I'm going to... Do you uh, tell your companions this information or keep it from them? Do any of you know what night speak, hounds are? Speak up for the mic. Do any of you know what night hounds are? No. I remember being in a village once where they called them phantom bloodhounds. We've got a... It sounds like it's a type of dog. So you're saying it's a dog. Excellent. I don't think these are... No, I don't think dog. these are normal animals. Wait, these are these are advanced it. animals. <laughs> That's they a too aggressively. I have something that no canine will be, will be able to stand. I mm. think I might... Dog whistle? I think I might have some... Yeah, speaking, yes. I think I might have something that could also work. And I use druidcraft to create a uh, faint odor of oud de skunk. Oh, okay. And so you try to repel them off? Yes. Okay, At, you you all can smell this horrific scent of skunk in your area as well, since uh, Howl is... I, I sort of cast fart. Oh, trip is oh yeah, you basically cast fart. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> I cast asparagus you, piss. You look, at, you look down and look up and suddenly cast wearing a gas mask. No. Really? Standard kit? You don't have a gas mask. No, you, you, don't, you, you, you don't have that, Julian. Julian. <laughs> you basically you you see Kat that she's like holding her shirt up over her nose, um, but you Does do. Does Kat really need to breathe? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my racial ability. I Seth. forgot how to Krillin, not breathe. You don't have a nose. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I forgot. I don't need to breathe. Oh well. Oh, wait. Wait, what does a, what does a water being have to do about scents and smells? Regardless, um, well, as long with, as she doesn't open her mouth, she won't taste it. Meanwhile, you then you're you then see the sh- rough, rustling oh, of the the ferns start to get a little bit more violent before the motion me. turns tail and runs the fuck away. First but you do violent. see one uh, rustling still coming closer with. A heavy, frosty breath, just oh, kind of. May I? <sighs> Fern's may I? getting violent. I don't know this one, part of the There's only one bad. left. Yeah, <laughs> uh, act accordingly. Okay, rapier. <coughs> flick. Okay, you flick the tip. Um, it starts out as a, as a high pitched noise. Okay. But eventually, it gets so high it just sort of fades away. Okay, so what Dog exactly? Whistle. Dog whistle, essentially. Okay, but like. What sort of a Mage Knight effect is this? I it's need a, to know. It's a sonic, a sonic pulse ability. Okay. Basically, if it hits something, it's going to... Uh, it, it deals an additional 3d8 thunder damage, but until then, it emits a very high-pitched frequency that things that like dragons or dogs would be the only things capable of hearing. Okay. Uh, is there any sort of saving throw associated with this? Um, Not Im- unless I make an attack roll. Improvised? What? Improvised. Improvised. Uh, but are you actively attacking this creature? I'm not actively attacking it, but I am making a really loud, high-pitched noise. Okay. Which dogs really don't like. Oh, yeah, this one definitely doesn't like, and you just kind of, again, hear that as it runs back into the foliage. And sheath. 
So you've effectively, you had five night hounds on your tail. Uh, you can assume that they fled, but there's no telling how many more are in the area. And uh, for the way that, that Mage Knight abilities work, that rune remain in effect, even though it's sheathed, until the weapon is used. Okay, so it's a passive effect. It's passive, which means that's not regained on a short or long rest. So that remains until the weapon is used. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you guys are continuing further through this uh, twisty weavy uh, foliage path. I will active perception if it in an effort to keep an eye out for other for, uh, for other night hounds, hostiles. Okay, yeah, sure, you can. A generalization in case gotcha, of gotcha. night hounds. Okay, yeah, sure, you can go and do that. Um, not super, but it's, it's good enough. Um, 18. All right. You don't notice any hostiles as you guys are slowly trekking around this area cautiously. You can still hear the distant howls of night hounds, but there's nothing actively coming up behind you guys as of now. Um, if... Any more night hounds come nearby, I'm going to fart again. <laughs> okay. That works. Uh, I could you... just say Druidcraft, but I think to say farting is, it is more funnier. humorous. It's more humorous. Uh, Tilly, what would you like to do as you guys are continuing further? I want to look for the thing that opens the gate. Okay, yeah, sure. You can roll me a perception. Cool. Because you generally have an idea of what it looks like. You're that fucking star. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is the most that we've passed the you tried star around at the table so far. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a seven. <laughs> you don't notice anything that might resemble the key to the uh, the vine gardens that... Investigate for hidden rooms and, and, and traps. Sure, whatever. Yeah, sure, go ahead, Kath. I'm expecting crap. Not crap! What'd you roll? Uh. 22. You're lucky you see this. Mm -hmm. uh, you take a turn and you almost walk into the trap, the what trap. looks like a large pitcher plant the size of Howl. Not today! You can kind of. Uh, you can, it kind of droops over a little bit, and you can see what looks like a, a clear, viscous liquid inside of it, but at the very bottom is what looks like a large sapphire. What do you see Wait, there? Can I see the bottom of the pitcher plant? Yes, you can. I cut it off. Well, no, you no, like the, the sapphire the part reach. is... Um, you can't see, like, the roots of the pitcher plant, but it goes downward so you can see the bottom All right. of it. I have an idea. Yeah, like, half of, it's, half of it sticks out above the ground, but the rest is submerged, and you can see this Kevin large kind of sapphire. Kevin's going to over to, uh, to, uh, to Howl and just make some puppy dog eyes at him. <laughs> what is it? What is it, girl? What is it? Just going to pull him by Taku got stuck in the well? Talk, cat's stuck in the well. No. Cat just kind of looks inside the pitcher plant. Got the sapphire. Hmm. How far down is it? It is about 20 feet down. Oh, 20 feet? Yeah. It's about 20 feet. You know feet. what? I think that works for me. It's about 20 um, feet down. I and the lining of this plant is like... Bright crimson red with tiny black thorns. And how deep does the liquid look? Um, again, it goes down like 20 feet. So, 40 feet of the liquid, or is it like 10 feet of air? It's like a 20 feet of liquid. Okay, so 20 feet of air and then 20 feet of liquid. No, no, it's like maybe uh, 10 feet of air and then 20 feet of liquid, so okay, okay. 30, 30 feet, feet total. Little. Yes. 30 feet deep and the water itself is 20 feet. Yes. Got it. Not the water, the liquid. I would, like, I would like to use thorn whip on the sapphire. Okay. Uh, as an improvised means of. Cat whispers in Howl's ear. I'll split it with you. Raise love. I'll split it with you. Um. Besides, it's pretty. So do you go right up I'm to the plant? To, and 
enough so that I'm not enough so that I'm not in danger of falling in. Okay, so you're like right at the rim, but you're not like putting your arm inside well, of the mouth. Yes, correct. Okay. I've got thirty feet of range on Zorn Whip. Okay. Uh, first so I'm hoping that's enough to get get the the uh, Thorn Whip to the Sapphire and then repel okay. it back to me. You might be able to with an a, a good athletics check, but first I need to know an important question. What's your AC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Do you mind I'm standing right next to him? Oof. Okay, that's a miss and a crit. Okay, I now need you to Wait, make... Did this creature just make an attack against Hal? Uh, not trying to. It's, it's It was an innate thing. Was it an attack roll? Yes. Okay. I will retaliate against it. Okay, but let me do this the thing first, okay? Sentinel features are immediately. Yes, out. Julian, but... Okay, go ahead. So, it still hits me. It yep. still hits you. I need you to roll me a uh, a uh, strength saving throw. Okay, this shouldn't hurt you too much. <laughs> it's a plant. Uh, 11. 8, 9, 10. I'll pull them out if need be. Alright, you are taking 24 piercing damage. It shouldn't hurt you that much. Would you care to paint me a picture? It shouldn't hurt you that much. Would you care to paint me a picture? Yes, I'm going to. So, as you cast Thorn Whip into this plant, which you can assume to be a normal... How much damage again? 24 piercing. 24. 24 piercing. You... Your party members also see the plant kind of shudder a little bit and kind of expand the opening of its mouth area a little bit wider as you kind of just see <laughs> howl starting to get restrained by the plant. I would like to to use my uh, my sentinel reaction to pull howl free instead. Meaning how you're basically lifted by your torso Is into the plant head first. Is it a vine? No. But well, most, step most importantly... You're stuck. Do I get do I get the yeah, sapphire? Well, you have to roll me the athletics check to grab it. Attack roll. No, because he's specifically trying to grab at an item. Ooh. Twenty three. No. Twenty two. Yes, you do get the sapphire, but in doing so, you're now kicking your legs back and forth in the air. Uh, slowly being eaten by this creature. I'm going to pull him out. Is this a plant? Yes, it is a plant. However, you guys on seeing this can make me a nature check. How will I will give you advantage on said nature check, given how you are a druid and you are literally getting eaten. Crit. All right. So that's a crit from the druid. Nice, nice. Uh, Tilly, what did you roll? Twelve. Twelve. Oh. Seventeen. Seventeen. Ten. Ten. Uh, mod thirteen. Okay. Uh, it's not really a well-known plant, so it would make sense that Howl, as the druid, would have heard of this, that he's kind of feeling really stupid. Oh, hey, this is what this is. Hey, oh, shit. This hey, is... I remember now. <laughs> hey, shit, I'm being swallowed whole by a vesiculosa. I have become error. A vesiculosa is a large burrowing pitcher plant that lures creatures in with one, the sweet nectar inside of it, what you could assume and to be the water, stole, and that stole from people that he that it lured in with the aforementioned sweet scents. No, actually, right. they don't always have a crystal inside of them, but they do often uh, store. Adventurers loot in that water that they can't digest. They don't actively try to, but a lot of times metal and heavier objects have a tendency of not being digested by the fluid inside. But you're being kind of, you can kind of feel it kind of starting to sucker you further in, Howell. Yes. Sentinel feature has been ignored. Yes. What would you like to do with the Sentinel? Uh, Howell out. Okay, so. How would you like to do that? 
<coughs> Remember before, like the first time we met Howl, I suplexed him. Oh, you're gonna suplex him I'm out. I'm gonna suplex Howl out of the, out of there. Okay, so uh, roll a strength check. Nineteen. Yeah, I'd say with the 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 watery lining to the vesiculosa plant, you do. Uh, uh, suplex Howl once again onto the ground. Just a quick glance at the sapphire when he pulls it out. Can I see how much it's worth with business acumen? Hold on. So as you pull it out, you see Howl splash out with the the sapphire piece. Yeah. Can I just look at it and see how much it's Am worth? Am I wet? Glance? You're yeah. a little bit wet because the inside of the vesiculosa was lined with like some kind of mucus-like secretion. <sighs> it... It was kind of gross. How yes. much is the sapphire worth from a glance? Because business. Uh, you'd still need to roll me an investigation check for that. Okay. Okay, 24. 24? Uh, I gotta think about this. The... Because I know exactly what I'm about to do. What are you going to do? No, just, t- just tell me. Uh, you're going to feed it to the androgyny, aren't no. you? Okay, um, the sapphire piece you have, well, it's actually not a piece, it's more like a chunk, a, a chunk the size of James's head. Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. It is a very... Jeez. It's a big, it's not, not like fine or chiseled in any way, it's very roughly hewn. It's, mm-hmm. for, it's our listener, net, for our it's, listeners at home who can't see, I have a large head, apparently. <laughs> in relation... a big coconut. In relation to a normal size of sapphire. It's probably like the third smallest head here. Actually. We counting the beard or not? <laughs> no, the dead set middle of the road size head here. Pretty much, yeah. But regardless, it is anyway. a head size unfinished piece of sapphire. Most importantly, what's it worth? Oh my god, you are oh stupid, true business woman. Ah. If do you want it in its rough state or its uh, polished state? Either or. Um, given the size of it, you're not sure the quality since again, it's not finished or polished or anything. You can assume something like this would be around twenty five hundred, thirty five hundred to the. <coughs> if you really got it nice. Let's play it with you later. We'll get it polished. So you give Howell the very large... Well, I, I put it in the bag of holding, but I tell him I'll split it with him later. Okay. As because that's the first thing we found in here, and she's not going to tally everything up until we're out. We found an opal-looking motherfucker that opened the first gate. Do you remember? Any, re- any resemblance? No. No resemblance. It seemed when you if look it at. If it becomes relevant, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, if it becomes relevant, it doesn't really bear any similarities to but the, the thing that opened the gates before. Most importantly, Hal, hold still. I, I give you the expression of what? Uh, Theron, turn around, really, till ye, I don't care. <laughs> what? Oh, what? She, oh, she was hold a. Hold still. And just like a glob of You're water washes the over plant. you. Ah! And then you suddenly feel clean. You're gonna flash <laughs> the plant? Not anymore. And then you just hear. Oh, you you're. Just, she absorbed mu- all the stuff mucus. that was on his skin and so, spat it out. So That's she literally disgusting. sucked him off. That's disgusting. Well, that was the thing. That was the thing that happened. <laughs> and just farmer back I, on there. I don't the know. talents you learn of your party members. I, I don't know why that happened. I. I, I, I don't like no, that. No, you know what? But it's too easy. I'm not going to make it. I'm well, you didn't see it. Freaking or did you peek? No, I mean, like, out of character. It's too easy. I can't make the joke. It's too easy. <laughs> oh. But uh, you continue on avoiding... Later. Uh, um, how, avoiding getting eaten by a vesiculosa. Damn it, you know what? I'm going to make it. You were inside, Kath. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It was there, it was easy, but I couldn't help it. And whack! <laughs> no. <laughs> not the weirdest thing I've been saying. Yeah, not the weirdest thing that has been said at the table. Thank you, Keth. You're welcome, Howl. By the way, that's two you owe me. 
<laughs> so how will have the look of, well, damn it. He's quickly realizing, well, She's I terrifying. fucked up. Well, I fucked up big time, didn't I? <laughs> I'm guessing you continue further down these coiling. I shake my head and just keep well, Wait, are we not being attacked by this plant thing? No, it is stationary. Oh, it was um, trying to consume Howl because his face was, like, right next to it. Mm-hmm. He was trying to get swallowed mm-hmm. by it. So long as you... I wasn't you're... trying to get swallowed by it. But you were within swallowing range. Uh-huh. Want to go on a cruise after we're done with all this shit? It depends on what happens here. I bought a ship. I'm um, guessing, are you guys continuing further after grabbing Howl out <laughs> of the Pesiculosa? I'm going to cast... Let's see. Because I did get hit for like 27 damage. Yes, you did. Just throw a blanket on it. Ah, so you put the gravel camo on Liz. Yeah. Um, she would blend in perfectly. That's a rock. A large stack of rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't rock science. I mean, that's not this isn't rock that. surgery. Oh, it is rather igneous. I prefer to live a sedimentary lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, how this now thing did technically game. attack you. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, Do you I'm, not like this plant? Geology is canceled. You know what? I, I got what I needed from it. Granted. There's no need to interact with it. Exactly. No, there is not. But I am oh. looking at a healing oh. spell. Okay. Yes, you can heal yourself um, if you would like. I'm just trying to make sure. You're doing it I right. Get, yeah, because it's not cure wounds. Touchy healing. Uh, healing spirit. <laughs> yeah. The, um, does it happen once per turn? You have to go into the healing aura of the spirit. Right, I've got a thing set up where it's going to walk beside me or something, and it's going to heal me as the minute. Okay, yeah, that that's fine. Yeah, I that's cool. I, I can live with that. So, like, D6, uh, D6 per one turn, so it's like 6, it's like 10 D6. So maximum 60. If you, and it increases if you use it at a higher spell slot, which, since you're not actively being attacked... Um, I haven't long rested, so I still have some spells that I've Yes, cast. you do. Uh, the, you can cast I'm it at... I'm just going to use a level 1 Cure Wounds. Okay, yeah, sure. So, uh, you see Howl being enveloped in a in a, a faint light, and you... A he- jade light. A jade light. As you heal up however many dicey boys you roll. So roll them dicey boys. Uh, I'm using a level one, so that's that's uh, seven, eight HP. Okay, so you heal eight hit points, so you're feeling a little bit better after getting the. I'm not topped off, but I it's. A palate cleanser. Yes, you don't feel like you have a mucus all over you anymore, thank oh, you, Kat. Um, huh, yeah. How much you missed it? You're using your. I think uh, I heard something uh, from the bottom. You're using your lay on hands. But uh, well, so honestly, I don't know from this much. Till you, you're using. Later, till you. Till you. You're using your lay on hands. Well, uh, how much? How much are you healing? I haven't healed anybody yet. Okay, so. If you're to top me off, I think yeah, that's well. 16. 16? Th- that's how much health you have left? Like, that's needed. how much I need to top off. Okay, so Before he's back to full. Oh, uh, okay. You've been booped. You get a, boop, you get a healing boop, boop from Seal Mom. Off. The best boop. No, this is the best boop. Boop. Blem. No, that's only in her seal form that she goes blem. Yeah. Blip. Blip. Thank you, Tilly. Cannot be activated in, in any other... <laughs> This, item, have not this item can't be used here. <laughs> as you're going you about, use this here. as you're going about through these viney, tendrilled areas, you do anything else fun? You, you make no. Uh, you do man, like you me. do through your method of uh, feeling along where there might be illusions. You do notice that there are actually a few illusionary passageways that lead into more of these vesiculosas. Okay. Don't feed the plant. Uh, from what you saw, that it could easily eat Howl. Probably not a good idea to go up to them. But you round a corner and... Do any of them have more treasure in there? No. Yeah. That was the only one that seemed to have anything okay. in it. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. 
But you guys... We're even, because I cleaned you up after. <laughs> but I'm you... not sure about that, Do you want but something okay. else? All right, we got it. Somebody has been violated. All right. <laughs> you two want a cigarette? Maybe, like, some self-care talk? <laughs> not the weirdest thing I've been doing. <laughs> not the weirdest thing I've had in me. I'll just cuddle and ignore each other like anybody else. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now lose each other's phone numbers and never see each other again. <laughs> Sounds about right. I mean, that was basically what y'all did with the half-elf on the train. Yeah. What half-elf? That was fun. Haley. That was a joke. How you... How you got their... The Future wife. Calling card. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad I never really got to know her. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it's probably lying on some dungeon floor smoked in blood right now. Damn. Yeah. Dang, son. Future <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> if only we had a necromancer. She is a future wife, just not parents' future wife. <laughs> if only there was a necromancer. Polygamy's rule it legal in it. Come on, guys. Steel. Regardless, uh, you guys round a corner, finding yourselves out of this uh, uh, viney area. See, I told you it would work. You I don't see it. anything resembling uh, any of the uh, the keys to get the, the next gateway open, but you do find yourself in a large area with just water all around you. <gasps> Is it pure water? Yes, there are none of the poisonous parts to it that you see. Cool, so mm. Aqua Team Force is good to go. Yeah! It's not necessarily <coughs> deep enough that you can't see the bottom, but you do see Treasure? something like a vague, dark shape at the bottom. No. Time to turn squishy. It's not moving. I have an idea. Talk it. Wait a second. Just walk up to the edge of the water. Splash, splash. Does it move? No, it doesn't. Smack. It doesn't. Stick I'm going to jump head. in. I'm going to stick my head in and yell, Hello! <laughs> Really? Uh, you actually see a bunch of colorful fish go by. Like an angelfish nearly like smacks your nose. Like. I'm going. You absorb the angelfish into your face. Jar. Um. Keth comes up and you see that she now has an angelfish in a jar. More like kidnapping, but all right. Angels are attracted to angels. I put some. Aw, thank you, Tilly. As you look at the angelfish, you notice it has six eyes. Uh, guys. Guys. How? Specifically, how? Does this look normal? No! This is not normal, and given what you saw the androgyny do to the creatures in its lagoon, you can assume that this is a product of it as well. It just... All of the eyes blink at different moments. I'm an oh, it's slow. <laughs> oh no, it's retarded. How many eyes? Six. Six. It's blinky. It's blinky. Boy, is this the thing with the Simpsons? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, jabby. Yeah, jabby, jabby, yeah, jabby, jab, 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 jab. And just jabby, like, jabby, meet jabby, your new friend. Hey, jab, jab one, one more eye, eye and, and it's a federal crime. <laughs> Wait, so you pull out Pinchy? Yeah, Pinchy, Pinchy, meet your friend. I'm like, hey, do it like how many times? Like jabby, 10? jabby, jab, jab, jab. How will you just oh. see uh, your naiad companion take out a very angry AF crab in a jar with a skull for its shell? Is this nature or a karma? Uh, what are you trying to find out? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, what the fuck? <laughs> Whom? Either one. Whom's okay, it doesn't really matter either right way. <laughs> Fourteen. I'll say Arcana then. 14. De- definitely was so 14. transformed by the Androgyny's uh, swallowing gullet <laughs> ability. Okay. Okay. But water is so, good though, right? The water is fine. All right, I'm gonna dive in. Okay, splash. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna turn squishy, get dizzy, and dive right in. One thing squishy first. And dizzy. Splash. Uh, I'm um, gonna put I'm gonna get the and go pissy. <laughs> on my armor's belt. I'm gonna take those two jars, but strangely enough, I'm gonna open them. Give me one moment. Wait, you're gonna open. Armor poofs away, poofs back, and the crab and the angelfish are no longer in the jars. Okay. Where do you think I keep my armor? You put the crabs there. I keep my armor in a tank back in my back in my room. And Where do you think it goes when it poofs away? You, we never been in your room. Oh, that's right. <laughs> because you bitched about it. But yeah. But uh, realist. Probably for that exact um, reason. Rilith, Howell, and uh, right back, Theron, what would you like to do? Uh, your paladin has I, confirmed that the water is safe. I could go in with them, but 
They, uh, yeah, Theron, Rilith, are you going to be okay by yourselves? Sure. You can still go in if you would like. And sploosh. Because you can freeze water if you choose, and if there is um, something down there, then you could freeze it with your staff. Yeah. And possibly yeah. us, too. I, I, I want to know what that dark spot is. No, that, that's, what, that's, what I'm, that's what I want to... Yeah, that's, sure. That's why I dive in. I'm going to stay up here and act as backup. Well, guys, one at a time. I'm going to stay up here and act as backup in case things go wrong. Okay. Overwatch. Guys. Okay, so you are going to keep a precautionary <laughs> stance and keep an eye on the surface level as at least four of your party members Three. go... Three. I'm staying up here. No, but Theron said that he was curious about what dark that spot. dark spot in the water was. Right. That could Does be cancerous. <laughs> Does anyone have water breathing they can cast? Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's always on. <laughs> Haku, if there's anything you should have learned at the bottom of that art lake is that you shouldn't go on it on your own. It worked last time. <laughs> Barely. Uh, Rilith, That's actually how we found out we could go. Rilith, what would you like to do? Uh, four of your party members wish to adventure down into the water below. One of them wishes to stay above water to act as a uh, a guard in case something happens. Yeah, twenty pounds. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna back a, a howl up. Uh, I'll, yep. I'll make a little ice floaty uh, thing. Like around your your head. <laughs> no, like to stand on. Okay. Oh, he's, okay, so he's gonna be on the water. Oh, you're gonna. But be he's on gonna the... be on like a. Oh, He's going to make his little ice iceberg. Friend. I'm going to be a reverse Moses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, we'll see you the water. You're going to be Freezy Jesus. <sighs> Freezy Jesus. Freezy Jesus. Oh Jesus. my gosh. Uh, <laughs> no, is that out of the ice cream, senor? I actually need you guys to clear off that map. I believe uh, there should be a battle map somewhere around here oh, that no. I drew the thing. No, no, no. Battle, battle, map. battle map. Battle map. We're gonna die. Yay. Finally. No, no. No, that's not oh, nice. Julian, I have to say about it's it. Julian, is it. the battle map on your end? <laughs> it should be the one with the big Targaryen-looking thing on it. The one that you put over there. Oh, duh. <laughs> What's with you with weird designs on the bottom of the legs? She has an obsession. Okay. Wiener, 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 I might need you to clear wiener, up a little bit. No. One wiener after another. Oh, wiener, 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 wiener. His dick flopped in the wind. <laughs> Fucking South Park. Now, the pizzas are coming. The pizzas are gonna be great. What kind of pizza do you want? <laughs> you haven't ordered them yet. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Tom Hanks and Beyonce. Everybody <laughs> loves Tom Hanks and Beyonce. <laughs> All right, so now you guys can Beyonce. I'm mad right now. Right. Never thought now you guys can out. put your minis actually on the the map. All right. Well, where's the where's they only okay the, for the people on the surface? Where are they gonna be? But um, you can just put them wherever you so that way you just know where your character is. Okay. This is my little ice floaty thing with you. Actually, here, put your little All dude right. on this so we know he's on an yeah. ice float. Yeah, this is my little ice floaty thing. Yes. Um, are you bringing Rumbles with you? Wait. Was that pitcher plant thing the reason you asked me for the tentacle minis? No. No, no, no. That was for something else, depending on where you went in Ilya's garden. So, those of you who go underneath water, it is not crystal clear, but it's clear enough that you can see... Um, Fish and more eel hounds swimming I wait around. The eel hounds. They pay you no mind and just kind of swim away. Oh, by the way, drakes can swim. Can they breathe underwater? Yes, they can. They Some can? Drakes can breathe underwater. Okay, thank you for letting me know because that was an important thing. Uh, we brought the dragon. Oh, he dropped. <laughs> oh, dang, son. <laughs> oh, Thanks, shit. He, oh, shit. He dead. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Oh my fucking god, you're fucking dead. Uh, regardless, those of you who have decided to go under the water, the the liquid around you is pretty clear, not super. You got dinosaurs on. What? I got dinosaurs on. No, there's a thing. I got dinosaurs on. Oh yeah. Pulling out my arm there. You want to cut it off? Uh, regardless, you begin. Pause. 
Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You guys begin to swim down into the depths below, and sure enough, uh, maybe after a two, three minutes at max, depending on your swim speed, you yeah, do awesome. see on the bottom of the lake what looks like a large circular design. It seems to be a series of eight serpentine necks with very slim uh, heads on them. Are they alive? No. Okay. It seems to be a large engraving in the ground. All of them have just... It's like a profile picture of each one of these heads, and they all have one eye looking up at you. They're not actual eyes. Jewels? Yes, actually, it seems to be a... You're not quite sure what it is. It just seems to be like a something clear in each one of their sockets. Can I examine the, the jewels a little closer? You want to go right up to it? Making sure there's no traps. Okay. Yeah, sure. Me. 20. This thing probably is trapped from how it's suspiciously well, underwater. I'm not going to touch it. Okay. <laughs> you mean very good. I want to look at it. Okay, yeah. Um, Just seeing my experience with treasure and whatnot, what kind of gem is this thing? Just seems to be a, a large heap of a very clear sea glass. Sea glass? That's weird. Right. Weird, but not the strangest thing you've encountered in this yeah, garden. I'm going to try to be a little more in character here. So the glass. <laughs> the... Hey, Taco! What? The sea glass. Normal, just... Normal Julian. <laughs> but in order for sea glass to form, there needs to be a tide. We're underground. There is no tide. There is no what? Tide. 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 Laundry detergent. It's weird. Who uses Tide? But given you're in a place that's just magic, magic, ev- Tide pots. I use strong in here. Yeah. The tide is. Tired. It's weird. Yes, but considering you're in a place with constant magical energy, it's probably not. throw logic out the window. Someone probably bought it and put it here. Well, the thing is, it seems that in all of the the sockets of this design... Different color? No, they're all the same color, but they seem firmly planted. <laughs> firmly planted? Like someone punched it. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay, you take pictures of them. They're all identical. The camera works underwater? No, it's a camera. capture image. Spell. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. The one that Caillou made before yes. he died. Yeah, he, uh, Keth was casting Capture Image. That's right, I forgot it was that thing. In one of your... Uh, you know what? I'm... I'm... So, the three races. of you aquatics decided to... Aqua head. Team, hung, Aqua Team, go. Yeah, basically. I'm gonna correct you. you Aren't I the only one who's an actual teenager? The three of you... Yeah. Aqua decided, Team. Three of you decided to go underwater. Like uh, Theron, you are... I'm on the, the surface of the yeah, water. Yeah, you it's, are it's uh, being an ice titanic right, right now. That's all they are. He's a reverse Titanic. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> I survived Titanic. And two of you guys are what about the rest on of you? land making There's sure enough room on my ice cube for two people. Just putting it out there. Well, it gets you, bigger the longer you stick it in the water. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so, the three of you. Kev, you got a good view since you were the first one who really dove down at an incredibly fast speed. And before we... It's a sponge. Totally planned to end the last episode. Uh, I have declared this spell Caillou's instant image. Aww. Aww, I thought the spell was wise light on. Wait, what? The 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 click 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 oh, click click okay. the camera Capture spell image. is Caillou is Caillou's instant image. Okay. Don't worry, we'll get another variation on that soon. <laughs> of a Caillou? Of Caillou's instant image. Oh. Mike. Stop. Oh, I get it. Well, I don't get what you're saying, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it, then you don't get it. There was something else I Never mind. Tilly I like, and Taku, you follow suit after Keth. You can see... Even this... though I jumped in first? Ta- Taku jumped first. All right. Yeah, I was like, I, what? Well, he, he, well, Keth is the one who went Kept to go investigate for the, bottom. the, uh, this, the so odd yep. 
Th- that was literally what I said before we ended. I was like, I do believe my swim speed is faster he, than it's yours. Just, he was just like, yeah, like don't touch it though. I'm uh, like, yeah. Uh, Johnny, I, I do believe my swim speed swim speed is higher than yours. What's your swim speed? Forty five. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. by like five. Yeah, you're yeah. a little bit uh, above, but you guys generally convene on this design at the bottom of the water, generally at the same time. Kep has told you, don't touch the shinies. Whoops. They're pretty, don't touch the shinies. Yeah, don't touch the shinies. You can see that in all of the sockets of these designs. There's eight identical designs in total, and they all have just a singular eye with what looks like a sea glass orb in them. Don't touch the orb. Okay, Are there any other cute looking fish swimming around? Um, assorted uh, freshwater, salt water. You see an octopus go by in the distance. No, Julian, you can't take the octopus. It's got the scutters underneath a rock. In a coconut shell. No. She somehow snaps her fingers underwater. Okay. And half the octopus disappears. <laughs> There are no sharks in the water. <laughs> there is <laughs> now. There's a char garden, not a shark. That's racist. Still counts. That is there are... racist. I, 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 am, I apologize. I am an individual. <laughs> you see this large... Touch the shiny. No. <laughs> no touchy shinies. You can touch the shiny if you want. Lick the shiny. If you want to Be go, the shiny. You want to blend Don't sharks shiny. not have tongues? You know what? Fuck Actually, it. Why I not? I just realized what Which, it is. Which, uh, blem would you like to blem? I'm gonna, there just, are eight actually, identi- you know identical, uh, That one. <laughs> okay, so move your little seal self up to that one. Okay. Are you still in seal form? Tell you no. I'll do it like this. Are you still in seal form? Yes. Are it's you, the only way I can breathe underwater. Yeah. All right, you approach it, and you blem it. Blem. You see her little uh, seal tongue blip. Tilly, why? <laughs> they can't have my pet. <laughs> Today, I thought. <laughs> Today, I lick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Nothing happens. Later. Today, I... T- <laughs> Nothing happens. Though it's... Well, something does happen, but you didn't expect you taste it. You sour you gummy bears. See it, it kind of feels like it blinks. It feels blinking. Once... But then nothing else. Uh. Like you swear it feels like it's blinking. <laughs> it's winking. But nothing else. Like, hey baby. <laughs> I licked it. There's not much worse we What's can in do. the center of the heads? Um, it's what looks like a large coiled up serpent. You can tell that it looks like the androgyny you guys encountered. Uh, is it alive? No, it's carved into the ground. <laughs> Does it look like a bitch? <laughs> how can you tell it was? How it, Does it look like, looks a, like a bitch? That's why he was asking. Tell me like, more. Does Tell it me look like, like a bitch? bitch. <laughs> yeah. it, it just works like enough where bitch. it can be meaty, but also, as as like player asking, is it? <laughs> Don't touch the shiny. Uh. <laughs> it's not a bitch, but it looks not safe. It, it doesn't look like a bitch. You okay. can't tell if it has a gender. And you did blem the... Well, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> well, and Tilly, you blemmed one of the... Uh, you blemmed an eye. You blemmed an eye. Tilly, stop licking the eye. <laughs> I take a picture of Tilly licking the eye. Ding. <laughs> this is the fat boy. <laughs> and that was the last time I saw her. And now yeah, she's I dead. move around, get my good side. <laughs> has any... <laughs> this girl has been missing since... <laughs> Hey, remember what I was telling you about when we're when I'm, when we're just kind of waiting around, just start working on that yeah. violin. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's kind of what I'm doing right now. That, that's, that's I'm waiting, exactly. waiting for you, I'm waiting for you screwballs to get going. Well, you don't there. know that we're doing that yeah. though. You can't see. Because remember, you're yeah, on you're land. On. Somehow, I somehow I just know that you guys are messing around. And I'm over that. No. <laughs> I'm just no, this is something that Rilith has declared. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Because you like it, uh, you felt something weird, but nothing happened. Um, I'm gonna look more. Can I Arcana the weirdness? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Arcana the blink. Arcana the weirdness. Twelve. Well, uh, well, what exactly that. are you trying to? That's a cold. That's what a are you cold exactly ball. trying to figure out the weird about it? Uh, is it magical in nature, and did I just sign my own death warrant? You didn't sign your own death warrant. It definitely is magical, given the whole nature of this entire location. You know, in my experience, leaking a strange ruin at the bottom of a lake is not necessarily considered a wise course of action. (laughs) Says you talking voice. 
Neither is Shut up, voice to... in my head. <laughs> Neither is listening to the voices in my head. <laughs> it's like the Except thing. when the voices in your head, Paper Benjamin, provides valuable <laughs> advice. Taku, what would you like to do? You see Tilly can uh, blend one of the gems. I kind of want to go around more at the details. Kev just looks concerned. Did you just say blend the gems? Yes. Uh, she said that like three times. I Where's the just put it we have an episode now. title. Right. Blem gems. <laughs> she Blem said it like gems. three times and she Blem just figured gems. it out. What kind of finer details did you want to... Uh, like, like if there's anything like related to the know. eyes to the center of Okay, the yeah, so you basically do a, a, a new Mizumi swim around the, uh, <laughs> the general area. You don't really see any real correlation. The only okay. real thing that you can see is the serpentine image in the center is kind of the same pattern as the obelisk you, you saw okay. on land when you first. I have an idea. Wait, hold up. And if there's nothing else, I want to see. Uh, I want to try to touch one of the I, the gems. Okay, sure. So you go and touch the the one closest to you, correct? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm using my mouth again in case that. something does happen. Okay, so uh, you what you said you go and touch the eye, correct? With the metal hand, right? Yeah. Okay. You what feel you your nails go underneath it. Can I remove it? You can try. All right, I'll try. Yeah, uh, uh, roll this me a strength, strength check. Okay. That's going to be a uh, bum bum tish. 16? All right. You see a bit of rubble and uh, plant life come undone as you have this clear thing in your hand. Taco, what did you just do? I got it. No, what did you just get? I got an eye. Taku? That did I a love thing. you, and don't take this the wrong way, but you're an idiot. Have you ever actually loved me? Yes. I don't believe it. Guys, <laughs> as Taku, you take out this cool. uh, glass Time to go. thing, you <laughs> then start to see the the necks and the heads of this design kind of curl oh, no. inwards. Hold it! Alive, and they all close their eyes oh, no. at once. <laughs> I had an idea, but I guess it's not going to happen. The ground Taku. starts click, to click, shake click, click. beneath you guys. <clears throat> and those of you on the surface and on your little ice raft can feel this as well as the ground starts to shake and shudder. You can see your The sea is beginning to roll. Oh, great. Yes. Now he's up uh, tired. Can you roll your wish is coming true. a... Oh, yeah, that's right. Acro- a- athletics check, Theron, uh, to, keep tra- oh to keep your little dinghy afloat. It's, it's ice. ice. It's going to float anyway. Ice dinghy. Yeah. It's going to float anyway. It's see ice. how it's well you float float anyway. it, basically. That's because true, because ice can like move around a lot more. Ice can also be broken. Uh, what do you mean? Athletics? Uh, that's a 19. Oh. Or I'm afraid to ask. Correlation. <sighs> what did you roll that's a, that's a 19. Okay, you are not a man of the sea or water, but you somehow pilot your little ice raft so you don't fall off. The sea is beginning rough, Captain. Yeah, you guys on the shore uh, definitely can see that there are now visible whiteheads on the surface of the water. Yes, I see, Jeremy. What, what about it? Ha! Very funny. But you guys, but you guys can see um, that the water is, is getting choppy on the surface. Wait, heads on the you don't know crests. what's happening, but you can all feel the ground shaking as well. Wasn't me. <laughs> as you yell from the oh, from man, the water, so wasn't me. Wasn't me. <laughs> what can I see from where I'm standing, and can I look underwater to see what's going um, on? Um, not from where you're standing. You have to go out maybe five feet to stick your head underwater, but you can you can always try like to dive underwater to see. Did you see I'm gonna, but yes, I'm going to put my head in in the water and see what I can see. Okay, um, you see... 22 passive. Okay, uh, you see that... You see the three forms of your friends deeper in. It's maybe a good 60 feet down from what you can tell. You can... At least from what you can see at this uh, distance. You can see the three floating forms of what you can assume to be your friends and the dark, uh, circular design, which you can't really get a good look at. However... 
when you stick your head in, the those of you deeper on, you then see the deeper on or deeper in. Deeper in. Okay. Those of you deeper in can then see the heads kind of submerge themselves deeper into the ground, and then a loud grinding uh -oh. Oh, no. sound as the circular indentation seems to be pressed in, unstops. That's when you start to see claws coming out uh -oh. of this indentation. You uh -oh. lied to me. <laughs> what did she lie? Coming out of this indentation. It should not be able to fit its body coming in out this of the closet. little uh, hole in uh -oh. the lake. Is this... Is this your card? Burly, <laughs> box-like creature covered in slimy green scales. Uh-oh. It is a slimy a, boy. What? It's a slimy boy. It is a very slimy boy, and you're wondering Quick. what is it Call that slimes this today? Oh. It is of a huge size category. <laughs> huge. And as it's be it, the Kraken! As, no, it's not. That's If it was, I would need the tentacles. Um, <laughs> That's as, a huge bitch! <laughs> it is a huge bitch, actually, because it is a huge size category. Is it, but coming out of okay. the, the indentation is a very large, boxy creature with eight heads. It's a hydra. Like my bank account. You guys can see this Hail big, hydra. ugly thing no. right in front of you. Hail How, Hydra. However, all of them have their eyes open, mm -hmm. except one. One only has one eye open with a black orb in it. That one's mine. Squinty Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Squinty Pete? <laughs> I hear dastardly best. I, that be Squinty Pete. Why is he squinty Pete? He looks into the sun too long. Because you took his eye. Uh, no, he didn't. Theron. He did. Theron, you are at... No, but what are you doing? Theron, you are at the top of the initiative order, and you see from the large circular shape what seems to be a lot of tentacle-esque uh, oh, images under the water, at least... Eight or nine of them. Oh boy. From your little ice float. Um. What do? I. I don't think I have any options. I don't know. Magic missile. I don't <laughs> have magic missile. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have a rifle. I can. I can shoot it. Mm. Yeah, you could try. You could attempt to. Staying afloat is even harder. Um, you would have disadvantage on hitting it because it is submerged, but you can always attempt it. That's about the only thing I can do, so... You I could also magic. warn your companions on the shore. <laughs> I don't mean to sound <laughs> cynical. Uh, guys! I'm uh, looking down. I mean, can, so I, can, I, I, can I yell at them while I'm shooting? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> guys! There's a sea monster! Yeah, you just In hear Theron scream, there's a sea monster, Rilla. So, I don't know it, so I don't know what, what you... That sounds like a them problem. problem. <laughs> that sounds like it's not my problem. <laughs> I'm on dry land. But yes, so I'm look, So like I've got my head submerged underwater, and I see this happening, and I'm like... <gasps> All right, I'm gonna... You're gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot fish. it. I'm gonna shoot it with the rifle. Yeah, well, once, okay. you, once you find an idea, once you find a good idea of what I can do, then uh, with that information, mm -hmm. and just let me know. Mm -hmm. What did you roll? Oh, I did. Okay. You got a roll to hit. Hey, I'm the uh, one who can think of the rhymes. That's uh, a 16 on the die. You uh, hit. You hit I, don't, the I don't have to add anything. Or is... Uh, like you said, you rolled a. I rolled a 16 on the die. Yes, without adding anything, you still hit. Okay. Yeah. It's just usually it's like you you ask if your roll works because sometimes it's like yeah, well. Or... Yeah. It's like because like who knows. Adding something, it's like, cool. yeah, it creases itself. I use my elvish accuracy. All right, so, uh, <laughs> well, how did you hit? So you what do your elven I see? Okay, so I got a roll. A my brand. James, what do your elven anime I see? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? Everything. To taking the hobbits to Isengard. Just I'm gonna to call you out. Hold on, let's let's get rid of. Just I'm calling that interference. Just to let you guys know who is in the 
initiative order. It's whatever this thing is, followed by Tilly and Cass. So you guys are on deck uh, next. Okay, good. That's okay. a six plus one plus my uh, dex, right? Yes. Okay, so six plus four is ten, plus one is eleven. Okay, so Wait, you What deal. about plus the weapon? That is, the, that is the plus one. It, oh, okay. And you said it was eleven total, correct? Yes. Okie dokie, artichoke. Oh, yeah, I need a... Is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, you could always start trying to uh, row yourself back <laughs> to land and not be on water. Row, 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 row your, your way. Flo- no, row your float straight at that bitch. Okay, <laughs> it is the creature's the turn. <laughs> okay, so just so I know... Okay, you're all in the general, the, the same general area of the creature, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Eagerly, eagerly, eagerly. <laughs> Did you want to die? So nope. Sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. So, um, sorry. That's too bad. First off, that's it's going bad. to attack you, Taku. <laughs> why? All I did was take an eye. That's probably why. <laughs> that's not. All I did was take an eye. That's probably why. You yeah, took just its eye. Third attack hits. I didn't know. I'm calling this Squinty Pete from now on. His name is not Squinty Pete. Well, you it didn't tell now. us, so it is now. <laughs> it is <laughs> now. Whatever. Taking a lot of hits. He would have been just Pete. Damage as you see its head just latch on to your body. Okay. His name would have just been Pete, but then Taku Squinty. had to take the eye, so now he's Squinty Pete. You're welcome. I gave them a character. Three attacks are coming at you, Tilly. Oh, fuck. What is your AC? 17. Okay, that's... Also, miss. crits don't hit me because of adamantine armor. Miss. And all three of them, you're lucky, miss. Ooh, Sweet. Nice. Can I get all whole... Oh. Wait, how much you said? Nine, right? Yes. Okay. You know all the other ones that attack you guys, too, since Keth is... Uh, sure. That's reason. So each one of you are also getting an additional attack done at you. Um, how much is your AC? Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, the next one hits... As it hits you as well. So you are both hit. Okay. So Taku, you are taking 14 piercing. Oh my god. And Tilly, you are taking 8 piercing. As it's just it's a flurry of heads and scaly necks underwater. All right. And that is... That is its turn. Okay. Tilly, you are up. This thing just started... Fighting at you. I will allow you a, if you would like to, I will let you do a nature check on sure. this creature. <laughs> it's an asshole. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> Whatever it is, it's an asshole. Well, it's on the uh, line, so it can't be an asshole. 11. No, re-roll that because th- this thing is kind of Fine, uneven. Fine, only because you're a wine bitch. <laughs> that was even worse. Yeah, we'll take the 11. <laughs> uh, what did you roll total? 11. Yeah, it's not too hard to figure out that this is a Hydra. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hail! <laughs> yeah, so you. I for one hail you. H- Hydra what? <laughs> what you Kids hiding? and your wife. Hydra what? <laughs> Hydra kids, Hydra wife. <laughs> Hydra <laughs> husband, because he's munching everybody out here. <laughs> <laughs> he's a num num boy. He's gonna find. No, uh, but yeah, this is a Hydra. Hydras, though, usually have five heads. This one has eight. So, so somebody tried greedy. to do a little choppy choppy before. Yeah. So somebody fucked their cousin. No. <laughs> sure, Taku. Sure. No. Stop. Do you think how Hydra's a work, Jer? I mean, no. Uh, Tilly. Is he? This thing just. Did I say that? Both you. You did. And Taku. Did I say just I was saying it in Taku? Guys, uh, I'm gonna promise to do a stabby yeah, stab instead character. of a slashy Thanks. slash because I don't want to cut his head off. Okay, so you're just gonna stab it in stab. the eye hole. I want to stab it in the sure. Stab it in well, the eye hole. Did attack me. Eye hole goes right um, to the brain. It was kind of hard. There's still eight heads. It just all it was kind of all like a flurry of blows. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and, and aim for an eyeball. Okay, you're gonna stab it in one of its eyes. Okay, so go you, for the missing one. I'm gonna try, but see that's what I was asking if that's the one because that one did attack me. Yeah. Well, they all generally yeah. attack you. I'm gonna I'm gonna stabity stab that eyeball. Okie dokie. Yeah, that would be a call shot, so that'd be disadvantage since it's a tiny space yeah. that you're attacking. Yeah, you don't hit it. She doesn't hit it. Oh yeah, you you, you totally don't hit it. Um, but I do have extra attack. Yes. Oh you yeah, do. so you could do that. So you can do it again. Second time with disadvantage. Twelve plus. Uh, thirteen. No, you do not hit it. <laughs> Fart box. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Plus dex, right? Yes. 
Uh, 15. You hit! Yes! Yeah, make sure you use the right Yeah, buttons. well, I for fucking. I couldn't remember which one it was. So, roll your damage. Oh, sweet. Um. You know what? Fuck it. I'm fucking divine smiting that shit, too. Okay! At a three. Uh, how many fucking. <coughs> is that? Mm. How many how many dice is that for the divine smite? Was it? Three? Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, wait, no, I think I have. You should always yeah, raise I was like, smite. Yeah. I have, I wrote it down. Okay. Ooh, okay. 12. D- yeah, that's good. <laughs> 16, 17, 20, 23, plus my paladin level, which is uh, 30. Plus 30? 2 is 32. Yeah, okay. 20, 23 plus okay, 7. Okay, I thought that you said your paladin level was 30, so I got really afraid. No, 23 mm. plus 7 is 30. Okay. Plus 2, so 32. Okay, I was like, go. if she got 30, 30 like, what go. the fuck happened to us? I know. Because the max is 20. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got afraid. I'm like, did, oh. I, did I take the eyeball out? Uh, no. There is certain conditions for that sort of thing. Actually, wait a minute. You, how much damage did you do? Uh, 32. Okay! Um, the eyeball comes out. Apparently. Actually, no. <laughs> you get one of the heads as you do a substantial amount of damage as it falls off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Unfortunately, now it has nine heads. That was n- I wanted to fucking take its eye out, and I fucking- Fuck. It has wait, what'd you do? I tried she was to trying to stab the eye hole. I was not slashing. It doesn't have to do stab. with where you were aiming. It has to do with the damage done to ah. the creature. Slashy. So we can't go for the head. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to... Uh, it's a hydro mechanic. Because I'm like... Yes, out of so character... Well, we know a hydro works... Out of character, uh, I will works. explain to you how it works in 5e. Um, if the creature takes 25 or more damage in a single hit, one of its heads dies. And when it does, two more pop out. Oh... Uh. Is there any? From where? Is there any? From it's, the, it's the hydra lot. The Do you know what? Hi- yeah, if you cut it off, it's the two more grow in the place. If the head dies and doesn't come off, where did the head oh, yeah, grow out true. of? Oh yeah, that's true. How do we kill? Yeah, how do the heads? Well, no, Faith. Where do the new heads come out from? It comes out from like a stumpy area, like. No, on but the thing. Shoulders. It, it we, wasn't we, decapitated though. Like, there's no stumpy area that's there. Yeah. It just grows spontaneous heads. Fine. Oh, that's how right. that's how it is explained in the book. I'm just reading. So the how do we box. kill it then? However, I every, will roll. Every time a we number. do damage, it's gonna grow more heads. I will roll. something You know though. a story. Comes you know to what? Mind. This just makes me think of something that I could probably attempt to do. Okay. Yeah, but the story involved fire, and it's underwater. Yeah. Okay. So we either get okay, it out so onto the land. So the one that has the there. black orb in what? the eye. Water. Is the fourth? Yeah, head. we're underwater. Okay. The fourth head is in order the to one burn it, we need fire. Maybe we don't burn guys, it. guys. For reference, the fourth head yeah. in the Hydra body is the one that has the black orb, which you can assume is the eye socket that you took the the gemstone originally out of. Okay. So it's the fourth head that has that Nobody in move. it. Nobody stand up. Everyone Another stay is. exactly yes. where you are. Did you have to announce it? Here's mine. Here's your coffee, ma'am. Uh, uh, you're uh, actually just in time, Captain. We're fighting a hydra. What? Yeah, we're fighting a hydra. It we're fighting a hydra. And we've already Let me guess. made... Taku pissed it off. He took the eye. Yeah. He Did you try giving it back? No. We, we've already got another head. <laughs> You evoke, you've opened yeah, a can of worms. Stabbing it makes a head fall Except off. Except those worms turn out to be No, the head didn't heads. fall off. It's just growing heads. Yeah. It's just happening straight it's off like the body. It's like neck goes limp, another one grows. Blech. Okay, uh, new plan. Target its heart. I Forget shot. the heads. <clears throat> well, it doesn't have... Oh. It's not your typical <clears throat> logic of cutting the heads off is going to cause more. It has to do with the damage output you do. Well, you can kill an animal by a uh, hydra by killing its heart. Forget the heads. Regardless, it is your turn, and this thing is pissy. Okay. Are we still underwater? Yes. You are still underwater. I'm going to to assume an evasive pattern, and then tell Taku and Kilye to get the hell out of the water, because the next thing I'm about to do can possibly kill you. Okay. Okay, so wow. what exactly are you doing right. for the DM knowledge? Uh, I'm readying my uh, my thunder step uh, ability. Problem with thunder damage underwater. Yeah, it's amplified. You guys don't have the con score to to take this. Cool, get map. Oh, I have to try. 
But that you... kind of those type of compression waves are what I'm used to coming from the deep deep ocean. So, so you're get holding... the hell out. Okay. So you're holding. We got your it. Action. When would you like it to go? As off? soon as Taku mm -hmm. and Tilly and everyone else are clear of the water. Okay, we're up. Okay. Or out of the water. Or at least out of way of you. No, like out of the we water because this is water. this is potentially going to blow the water in the entire lake. Okay. Because it's underwater. And it's most likely probably going to kill all the fish around us. Okay, Howell, you are up and you again start to see these hydra heads uh, biting at your companions. And I don't know that he's going. He's prepping thunderstorms. Yes, you do not know. What would you like to do? I will not be responsible for your death. Because you are a moon druid, and you can turn into higher CR creatures if they are in your capability. I know exactly what I'm doing. Orca! Sorry. What would you I'm like a, to do? I'm an ice pirate. I have been in the forest all my life. I do not know what an orca is. Remind me to teach you. If it becomes relevant, I'll learn. Can but you, for now... Can you fly? I'm going to transform into a giant constrictor snake. Okay. So, you can they breathe underwater or hold their breath? Uh, Most snakes can swim on top of water regardless. Mm -hmm. This is an important question for this I character. don't think I can breathe underwater as a... But can, can you hold your breath then? It doesn't say anything about then holding no, my breath. you cannot do that. Because certain creatures will say it, it has the amphibious trait. If it does not have the amphibious trait... What about a giant frog? <coughs> <laughs> Naruto. Become a turtle. <laughs> its environments include underwater. That's my only... But and it has a swim speed. So then I would. Say All right, whatever then. Breathe. Yeah, fine, whatever. Extended I, breathe yeah. time. Yeah, I'll I'll give you an extended breathe time for it if that makes sense. Just because like there's nothing else we can yeah. you look so, up. Yeah. Uh, so you suddenly on land see your druid friend uh, come take along, a, boy. Yeah, I. Snacky boy. I. Boy. Hey, pull my he head out of the water, take a deep breath, and then sh and then shift into his snake. You become a noodle. Yeah, like I'm I'm like doing like a dive or whatever. It, just yeah. undulating down, like, yeah. uh, the androgyny. Um, How far can you move? Swim underwater? speed of 30. Okay, so you can get a decent chunk down. You can get 30 feet down, and from where you are, you can see Taku is holding what looks like some kind of a clear, crystalline uh, oval in I, one hand. Okay. But from there, you can't really do much in wild shape form, since you are limited to the actions that your new shape can do. Uh, Taku. Mm-hmm. It is your turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, wait, quick question. So, Keth already announced what he's doing to us? Yes. Uh, okay, Keth I just want to make sure. Like, All right. Doing, uh, next. All right, I'm going to... And her announcement about being, get the hell out of the water. Yes. Breach! I got it. <laughs> breach, motherfucker. Breach. Breach. All right. Be the shark breaching the water. So, what do I have to do to get out? Uh, you just got to use your full move speed oh, okay. um, as a full action. Oh, okay. Get the max away, so instead of 30 feet... Alright, can I use, like, the head and kind of, like, push myself off with my strength? No. No? No, because you want to get chomped? No, because remember, it already kind of has me in a way. Right. So I want to use my strength to break out of it and then push myself as hard as I can. Break grapple. That. Yeah, sure. You can, So uh, that's going to be... Um, you can just, like, propel yourself off of it. Yeah, that's going to be 26. Okay, So, yeah. like, get out and... Push myself so that way I have that strength. Yeah, sure. You propel to give yourself. me some distance already, and then use <laughs> snowballing yeah, everything to Yeah, you propel to yourself uh, a little bit further what? than you can normally do. However, mm -hmm. as you do, you take you fifteen coffee, piercing yeah. as you basically okay. rip yourself oh, out of the hydra's oh. jaws. As it, okay. as you do this, you do feel it crunch on that side of your body. So it was taking an opportunity to swipe at you as you. And but did not you do, do well. start to swim the fuck away. Okay. Uh, Rilith. Also forty. Okay. Water, 40 um, water. Now you notice that there is the water is churning. There is distress going on. Howl has submerged underneath the surface. I'm gonna have to go down there, aren't I? That's up to you. I wouldn't. Okay. Um. Oh wait. Question. Now I get it. Okay. Yes. Uh, how, how well does, uh, logically speaking, how well does sound waves travel far? <coughs> in, further in, in water than air. Very. Uh, they travel oh, approximately amazing. 120 times uh, farther and faster underwater. Amazingly and, enough. And, that, and that's the exact reason why I told Tilly and Taki to get the fuck out of the water. Yeah. Because I can take it, they can't. Okay. Um... And if I was to, oh, let's, let's, uh, hypothetically speaking here, um, go, uh, down there, you know, there. <laughs> you know uh, at least just, just, ab just below like the 15, water. Like 15, 20 feet below the water. Or just poke her head in. 
<laughs> <laughs> just like bubbles. I think I know what you might be doing. Okay, no, uh, you were you were not doing what I thought you were doing. Okay. Well, how do you know? Because you you whipped out spell cards. I'm just taking a, I'm just taking a look. Uh, just um, so you guys know the Theron. upcoming order, Theron, you are next, followed by the Hydra, and then Tilgi. All right, so from the, like the very surface of the water to where <coughs> this fricker is, is to, to where this frickeroo is, uh, but how how far would that be? Um, I said like. Oh, perfect. Can you reach sixty feet? Uh, if I go just below the wa- the the surface of the water, totally. Okay, sure. So, uh, tell me what you're doing. Um, well, I gonna sing it take a song. breath, dive in. Just above the su- just, just below the surface. Just below the surface, and just in it whispers. Okay. Uh, does it need to make a saving throw? It has to beat a sixteen on wisdom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it my longest year, boy. It does not make it. Of course, it does not. Even though it has advantage. <laughs> <laughs> it has advantage Fail. and it's still going to do it. That's weak. That's pretty bad. You got a double nat too, dude. I mean... No. Not that bad. No, the second one was higher, but it had... Wait. Uh, huh. Hold on, break. The, the wait, hydrogen... Hold on. Leave wait, hold on. Leave it, Faith. Leave it. Leave it. Actually, no, it did not make because it is still a 16. So Leave it. Oh, so... Okay. All right. So, the hydra doesn't have... Good, it, it, can't, it can't beat a... Uh, can't beat wisdom, oh, huh? It's a hydra. It can if it rolls high enough, but... Hydra. In this case, it did not. Okay, well, anyway. It might look like a dragon, but it's not a dragon. Oh, no, it's not. It's a fraud. It is a fraud. It's a lie. We are looking at 8, 9, 10, 11, (coughs) 16. 16. Okay, you do a nice, uh, screamy voice at the hydra. Yeah, oh, boy. and if available, it boy. must move as far as its speed uh, allows away from me. Ask me about my winner. Just uh, skid her off into the corner of the lake. <laughs> no, but it does go diagonally up. Uh-oh. And away. You I'm trying just, to get away. Uh-oh. Yeah. You just see a blur of green moss-like scales shoot 60 feet. Towards the surface. Okay. And Theron. Okay. I. Is it coming towards me or away from? Well, me? considering how you can see a very large figure start to directly approach right from underneath you. Thar she blows. What would you like to do? Because it is uh, your turn. Call okay, me. Julian. I don't know what all these ice spells do, so tell <laughs> me if there's one that's useful. Well, considering it's underwater, ice would probably be pretty useful. Um, no, I know, but. Tell me which one was the most useful. I'm going to make like a tree. What would you like to do, Theron? All mm-hmm. right. I'm going to cast Investiture of Ice. Okay, so. Uh, That's through the staff that does not use a spell slot. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, yeah. what, through, uh, through Yuki. What does, what kind of, does it have to make a saving throw? Okay. No. Uh, until, it affects him. Until okay. the spell ends, ice rhymes my body and I gain the following benefits. I'm immune to cold damage, okay. and, I, and I have resistance to fire damage. Okay. I can move across a difficult terrain created by ice or I snow without spending extra movement. Mm. Uh, the ground in a 10-foot radius around me is icy and is difficult terrain for creatures other than you, so my ice float got bigger. <laughs> uh, Your ice bo- dinghy became an ice boat. And ice ra- barge. And the radius moves with me. Ice bridge. And the <laughs> final and most important effect... I can use my action to create a 15-foot cone of freezing wind extending from my outstretched hand in a direction I choose. So you are which Elsa. can include yes. underwater. So he is Icy the, Boy. Each creature in the cone must make a constitution saving throw. A creature takes 4d6 cold damage on a failed save, or half that on a successful <coughs> Okay, so, and you're prepping this as you see I, I'm, heads. I'm... Blasting the the hydro with the cold damage. Okay. A, cre- a creature that fails the save against this effect has its speed halved until the start of my next turn, and that lasts for ten minutes. Okay. Uh, first I need to know your AC, buddy. That is fifteen. Okay, that's a hit. That is a hit. Hey, look at the bright side. If it e- if it not. hits you, that is a hit. If it hits you, you can cold it to death. That is not. Oh really? Oh, so. All right, there's the top of the initiative order. Seven. All right, four hits. Okay. The hydra's hit? 
Yes. <laughs> no, four of their heads hit me. Yes. Uh, as it breaches. Jeez. Because it's got nine heads. Right. <clears throat> Alright, so that is... That's gonna hurt. And don't forget Yuki on us. Uh, you, as it ability. breaches, you take... 30 piercing damage as four of the heads just gnash at you in your ice flow. As you see the ice flow shatter. Ice barge. Your ice flow shatters as you just kind of Make it a good one, James. scooped up. <laughs> now you are literally scooped up in one of its mouths. Ooh, okay. As and the other that's ones. That's actually much easier now. And you Isn't guys on yeah, shore kinda. can, we're like, you can You'll see this massive Down the throat. hydra <laughs> reaching I'm Godzilla! <laughs> With your friend in its mouth. One of its nine mouths, by the way. Mm, Julian, it's a white album. Does it have to, does it take any damage as it it's touches you? Because it does bite you. I don't, Julian, does it take damage from touching me? Um, because I have cold well, question. ice. Yeah. Does the Hydra have it resistance and or immunity to cold damage? No. Um, in that case, this is kind of a bit of a weird gray area with this spell. On the grounds that... He is actively producing a freezing effect. Um, so what I would do is I would use a modified version, at least just for the sake of the monster that you're using right now. I would treat it as a modified heated body ability and just switch the fire with, with ice damage. Yeah, armor of Agathis. Sense. Yeah, uh, because the thing is, the effect of what, like, it's, it's freezing, strong. like, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I've kind of got, like, ice spell. armor. I'm kind of like ice no, man. Yeah, no, but you know the, what, guys, shush. Yeah. yeah, I don't add that. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, Do you want me to look it up in the monster? No, 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 no I got it memorized because I have a salamander summon in Ian's game. Okay. All right, so. Because, yeah, just Yeah. Just make it a level appropriate. It's also, like, freezing, like, ten feet around him, so. If that's this, this hydra is very quickly going to realize that what it just did is a really bad idea. This half of the that's good at the It's been you're, you're effectively being a nom nom in its mouth right now. But it's also getting... This, well, is, as, like, as this it, is like Jaws. I'm it like scoops, in its mouth stabbing As it scoops you uh, up in freeze. its mouth, it then throws you onto land. Blech. Or ice. <laughs> no, land. Okay. Aw. That's, you got yeeted. As you are taking a three damage from the impact on the land. <laughs> Boom! There's a Gun. dust cloud as you see Theron now spat up onto the ground. Tilly! Yes. Are you out of the water? Yes. Well, wait, okay. wait a minute, did I not use my frost thingy? My, my ice weapon? Did it no, because that was the Hydra's me? action. That was, that was the Hydra's action. Yep. You used your action to cast the spell on yourself. You were the Investiture of ice is an action. So wh if when do I get on to... your turn? You can use your action Next to do turn. the ice thing. Yeah, Next turn, uh, but the thing that, is, the but, that was the Hydra's turn. No, no right? But I, I, but I thought I this thought... spell lasts for ten minutes. You can do that Invest. every turn. No, yeah, I know, I know. But I thought like I thought that was my turn was to cast it and shoot it. it that the first casting activates it. The, oh, the okay. following turns, like you can just do that yeah, yeah. whenever you but want. But the thing is, it would only work if it held you in its mouth. But it was like yeet. Uh, Everything uh, else besides the final ability is passive. So it decided did, to did, did I take <laughs> here, James? Just yeah, hold on to this. Just hold on to this, so you know what you can do. So, so I'm guessing the Hydra does not have resistance. You're effectively cold. out of the water, and you don't know that. Okay. Uh, however, uh, Tilly, it is your turn. Uh, you saw this Hydra just whoosh reach the oh, ah! Um, all I can really do from this distance is my longbow because I got out of the water. Is you... Taco out of the water? He uh -huh. was. You okay. were not ordered that you were starting to get out of the water. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you would have disadvantage on hitting the Hydra because you are underwater, kind of by a longbow. No, I got out of the water. She's out of the water. Oh, okay. Because I wasn't being grappled by the Hydra. Right. I, I got out when, when right. that's the You just went, huh? <coughs> and yeah. go to fire your long boy. You were told it was a Toward, toward the heart what area. What boom in the water? You did. Yeet. Um... No, it's it's at least fifteen. Yeah. So twelve isn't gonna hit. But no, that fucking extra hit. attack would might maybe. Uh, yeah, that helps. Uh, twenty mod twenty. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Cool. I just look at the die. It's like doesn't matter. You don't have to mod it. Uh. We're good. So damage is one d eight plus the dex, damage. and I also roll a d four and gain a spell slot. Neat. What? 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 Oh, the I max. rolled. I rolled max damage. So nice. Ten damage to the heart. Uh, plus a level four spell slot, but I don't think I have those. Uh, not at your level. Not at your level, no. Damn it, so Especially I can't... not at a level seven paladin. Oh, no. Damn. You, you get those at level 11, I think. Yes. Oh, oh okay. 
So close, but as not. As well as one of your most powerful power. Are we level 8? What? Are we level 8? No, he is. For no. Are we? No, you, you guys, guys are, are level, level eight. 8. I'm only level 7 paladin because I'm multi-classed. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're oh. multi-classed. Yeah, she, she's that's level right, I forgot. 8 character, but she multi-classed uh, paladin that's 7 right. Valkyrie 1. Yep. I forgot what it was a class. Alright, so he takes 10 pierce. Alright, 10 pierce. Ten purse. Ten purse. Pew! Alright, oh, is there anything else you would like to do? That's my purse, and I don't know. Because you are still in water. No, no. Alright, you got it. One more like that. Stop that. Just to let you know, Kath, you are next. I know. And I believe you are still in the water. I'm going to use Rebuke the Violence. That's the important part. Okay. Well, no, I, don't I need to stay in the water. No, I think that. Fuck. Uh, what? I think rebuke the violent is something I can do when it's actually attacking someone. Yeah, it yeah. has to be when it attacks someone. Then you can use rebuke the violent. You can't use it as a standard action on your turn. You can use it as a, like reaction a reaction yeah. to someone yeah, being yeah. attacked. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, uh, Kath, your turn. Okay. You see um, this big boy. How close to the, to the water's edge is Taku? Uh. Okay. So. I'm going to modify my uh, my ready to action. Okay. Taco goes before the Hydra, right? Uh. No, no. after. Taco goes after. Okay. So I'm gonna precise time this. Okay. Where, on Taco's turn, I'm going to use my turn to swim to the bottom of the lake, just below the Hydra. Okay, so like right. Like, where it right right below where like it swam to the surface. Under the shadow. Under its shadow, and I'm going to. Firmly, plant my legs and squat on the on the uh, on the floor. I think I know what you're doing. Because and with the partisan just true. pointed straight up. You're ant manning it, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. I think I know I'm what you're doing. I'm gonna go up the anus. <laughs> Owl, it is your turn. Owl made the face like 30, it did happen. Thirty feet of swim speed. Can I get to the hydro? Yes, you can. Good. You can get to its legs. That's all I need. Um. If, assuming I can get to its legs, that means I can constrict this thing. You can restrict maybe two of its legs. I'm a huge, I'm a huge size. It uh, is also a huge size. Which means I'm the same size as it. That is very strange when I think about it. But yeah, you can uh, at least get two of its legs so it stops moving at least. But if you... You don't, you don't seem to understand. Uh, as con- with constrict, I can grapple and... And while it's grappled, it's a stra- restrained. Okay. Yeah, sure. You can go uh, attempt that. Compared to Strangle all its necks at once. Six to hit. Choke it out. Oh. Jesus Christ, Jack. Just how it's That's a nine. I have to choke a um, Unfortunately, you do not <clears throat> hit it. Compared to you, this thing's the size of an ostrich. If we're both a... A multi-headed ostrich. I mean, just ostrich. because you both classify as huge doesn't also mean you're the same size. What is your armor class in constrictor form? Twelve. Okay, it hits you. As you take uh, 13 piercing damage, as one of its Ellie. heads darts down and whoom, takes a chomp out of your spinal cord. Nom nom. You keep on using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. He is literally all spine. Where's the line? <laughs> Distressed thrashing noises from underneath the hydra. Don't snakes have ribs, too? They do. They do. They are pointy. Regardless, uh... Yeah, they hurt. <laughs> Taku. Your turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you see one of the heads of the Hydra, the ninth head, actually dart down and just take a chomp out of something from underneath. Clear. It. Get clear. Yeah. I'm gonna leave still. So, uh, obviously, uh, take the the ten feet to get out of the water. All right. Okay. Um, uh, that's. I'm trying to think if there's anything else though that you, I can do. Is there? Uh, your harpoon does have range. That's true, but. It gets, it'll, it'll, like, stick on it, though, and if it yes, pulls me, that's going to be a problem. Yes, it will, yes. Um, I am going to, um, use my, uh, action and bonus action to heal myself. Okay, cool. So I'm going to, crap, I forgot what I have to roll. Oh, that's in the book. Just so you but know, that's uh, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to roll okay, the health after. You so are ahead. next. All right. Mm-hmm. Hi. Uh, sure. No, remember, because. Right, right, right. I'm saying, like, yeah. in the order, right. you're next on board. So, okay. Kath. As you become a squat girl, what do you do? All right. How I'm sorry if you're in the way of this, but... Don't mind me. Like, I 
I've only been in combat with you. This is the second time I've been in combat with you, so. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. And then by this point, you should know better. Um, I, I haven't I seen it. you with other stuff. Okay. Huh? I well, missed it. Why did we skip? Who's her? underwater? No, because the thing is, his oh. thing. I had a ready had, action that was uh, ready to go. I'm, and as soon as I got the water. Clear the so water. it's activating now. That's why. Um, so that's fine. So, Howl, you're the only one underwater, so you might be the only one who'd be able to see this yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. Uh, the silt on the bottom of the lake begins to vibrate, uh, as even those on, on the surface can feel the water go up and down, up and down. Like a reverberation. Like a like a massive subwoofer. Yeah. As you see a jet of what seems to be something in the water just head straight up into this high into this hydra at a blinding speed. To quote Guild Wars, there's okay. something in the water. Right. Also, FYI. And uh, hold up. So sorry, I just want to go over my whole thing. Um, so I, it's my action and bonus action for healing. So I'm, I'm back at full. Okay, cool. And with a natural 20, the partisan plunges into the Hydra's chest. <laughs> you see... Got him! No. You just see um, Keth shoot up like a, a little missile. It's a bullet. Like a... Mi- like a like, you know what a, what it looks like when a submarine yes, launches totally. a nuke? Oh, those are cool. Yes, yeah, totally like is. that. Alright, roll your damage. Before all this, this is stupid, but I actually need this Hydra to make me a strength saving throw. Okay, what's the number it's gotta make? 18. Okay. Do it I... does not make it. Okay. The Hydra itself is blasted out of the water by, <laughs> 30, by 30 feet. Since I was attempting to grapple it, am I also shot up? Yeah, you're also shot with it. <laughs> you won't be taking any of the damage, but you're definitely not clear. But I, You, might you know taking, what? You haven't told me any damage. You might so. be taking damage from being squished by a Hydra, though. And fall damage. We'll see what happens. Oh, and also it is deafened for whatever it mi- for whatever whatever okay. counts. Oh no! Oh, yes, I dropped. It's I dropped there. my D twenty, my D twelve, one of my few remaining D twelves. I dropped. All right. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Rilith's turn. I'll give you the damage in a moment. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do the thing. Um, wait. D- didn't uh, didn't tell you. Oh, uh, Taku, it's Taku's turn, isn't it? I went. I shot. No, Taku used no, his uh, full action to yeah. heal himself. I used my. And yeah. he is back up to full. Yeah, so I am good really? to go. Okay. Um. Well, uh, oh. that thing is up in the air now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm and just a snake very, wrapped, very pretty there's a snake target. Wrapped around one of its legs. <laughs> there's a snake. Oh okay. Uh, a huge snake. I, I, like, where did that come from? No, I feel... Com- uh, let's see here. I feel compelled to ask what the fuck. It's not the androgyny. I... Imagine the word. I got... Uh, I got I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking I got two options here. I can either float to the surface, flip over, and lightning breath it. Or I can fl- fly to the surface. I can fly, fly up. up and then see if I can... Let's see if I can reach it with Thunderwave. Do what you want. Ride the lightning. Uh, you know what? I've, I've got these things. So. It's, by the way, angled towards land. So yes. when it lands, yes. smack onto the ground. Yes, I'm a, I'm a super, I'm a super girl my way up there. <laughs> and I'm a Thunderwave it. Okay. Oh. You're going to Thunderwave it as it starts uh, A wave land. of thunderous force <laughs> sweeps out from me. Each creature in a 54. 50- but 15 foot cube originating from me must make a constitution saving throw. Okay, and since there's no creatures in your general area, uh, you are all good to go? Besides the... the high. Well, are you... Uh, well, what part of it are I... you targeting? This is an important question for the sake of Howl. Uh, I'm honestly fine. Except for the fact that a bit of part of our spine. I'm fine. Okay. Um, Only 13 damage. I'm that's aiming certain. for a part that isn't going, that's going to hurt it, but not how. It's about, back would probably be the best case. Okay, right on. Uh, All right, so you're going to target the back. Thunder wave. All right. Yeah, and good. what's the DC it's going to make? That's going to make a 16 on con. Well, Worst Hydra it. ever. Yeah, really, really, bro. Captain yeah. America taking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is going That's to be good. 15, and it is pushed 10 feet away from me. So ah! an, additional, ah! an additional 10 feet in, a, in addition to the 30 feet it just got knocked So how much damage is it taking? 15. 
Okay. Uh, I haven't, still haven't added all mine up yet. I realize that, Julian. Mm. This thing is yeeted. <laughs> it got yeeted big time. Oh, man, I really should have played this at okay. a higher level. Ah, oh, well. Next time. Okay. Okay, how many has... Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one moment. I have the, de the, the result for you. Okay. Um, the creature is t is taking 28 magical piercing damage. And Best part of combat time. <laughs> <laughs> He's Hydra in the sky. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Make a wish. And 55 thunder damage. Okay. So was How much of that am I taking? Because if anything, he would have just gotten caught in the shockwave of me jumping up towards the surface. How much did you say was total? It was 28. 28 piercing and 55 I, thunder. I feel like the piercing was directed to the Hydra and yeah. not me. Yeah. So the, the thunder. thunder was indiscriminate. Mm -hmm. The thunder is just hitting that area. So. Yeah. I'll say how will you take no, 15 thunder. Oh. Or magic. From the initial oh. shockwave. You don't get hit with the brunt of it, but you do get hit with some of it. I'm still good. You're still good. You, you taste still some good, of the lightning. Everybody. This is no. essentially what happens. It's thunder. It's and thunder. It's I, can word. I ask a, a question? Could I just after that? Could I just do an athletics to get up on the Hydra's back? No. Okay. You cannot. <laughs> well, I hit it in the Hydra's back. You did, but you're not. And I heated it but, right in the, but the chest. Thing is, you can fly up there and actually go get it. Yeah. He has to make a jump. Yeah. Which uh, would be like all right, I gotta, the Hulk. Okay, first I gotta roll. Um, that fucking hurt probably right. a lot. <laughs> yes, because it's still going to take How the whole damage. How much damage did you do to the Hydra total? Well, that's 55 plus, uh, plus 28. Well, there is 10 heads now. I wasn't aiming for a head. I was aiming for it the chest. It has to do with how much damage you do. Uh, that's how Hydras work in 5e. Hmm. Hydras suck. So you see and... from one of the stumps, you see the, se uh, the seventh head fall limp. As another head sprouts up. And bonus action, Zephyr Strike back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I just made this thing mad. Oh no. No, meaning smart combat choice. <laughs> <laughs> Stay the fuck away from the giant monster. That's a pretty That usually solid. works. Uh, so that was Rillith's turn. Theron. My turn You're again? back on land. Okay. Um, how far away is the land from the Hydra? Uh, 30 feet. In the air? Well, no, like from the body, it's 30 feet, but diagonal in the air. It's it, going to come crashing down yeah, probably no, on its turn. Like, so. so how high is the Hydra? 40 feet. Or what, what, what? 40 feet. Straight into the ground. Feet, 70 feet, effectively. Ow. So you've got a couple of seconds before this thing comes crashing onto land. Did we so just make a hold up, hold up, hold up. 40 <laughs> feet up and 30 feet uh, away, right? Yes. That's actually 50 feet. Pythagorean okay, well, theorem. Is, is well, you have oh, even less time. Is it coming towards me? Yes, it's being hucked at the shore. Not at you, just uh, indiscriminately. It's it just says I can create a 15 foot cone of freezing wind. So you can withhold your action until it lands to then blast it with the cold. Yes, yeah, yeah, that would work. Set yeah. yourself up and then. When That's it's the trigger in. of when the creature lands, mm -hmm. and then you get to use that use that action. You or, can still use bonus actions or movement, yes. or just in range. Exactly. Yeah. Your when best, it comes into range, that's a better your best choice. Best bet is to move out the way as far as you um, can, and still be a, being able to use the spell. All right. I'll, I will You're try right. and move yeah. to a spot where it does not hit. Okay. So you move on back, forward, side. Uh, I'll move back. Alright, so you bathroom. move 30 feet back as it. far as you can. Sure. Okay. Alright, All right. as the Hydra now comes, come on and slam. And welcome to Japan. This is gonna be a lot of falling damage. <laughs> this sounds like a Godzilla the parody song. Remember, this is an slam. accelerated And welcome to Japan. Japan. For, per uh, falling feet, how many damage die would you it felt It flew 70. So... Oh. But this is for the impact. Well, the impact is still accelerated, so I would increase it from D6 to D8, and it uh, because it's a forced landing. Okay. Um, and since it went what seventy feet up, and then straight down. No, it's being hurled diagonally at the shore. Okay, then we're it, gonna it, go it's, with. It's coming. Let's it, go with it's going as an Thirty feet away and forty feet up. Okay, and so hypotenuse. Feet away, but it was actually fifty feet. So fifty feet. Uh, so five. No, it's fifty D8. feet from Theron. To the Hydra. The Hydra is still 40 feet in the air. 
Well, it's coming crashing down now. So, it, so 4d8. Okay. Plus whatever you deem deem appropriate for the terrain. Yeah, actually, what terrain? Come on and slam, yeah. and welcome to Japan. Actually, this lake was the only like pure water that we found. He may have very well landed frozen All right. water. You see yeah. the the Hydra land with the careening thunders. <laughs> on the ground as you see again another one of its heads fall limp oh. and another one oh, comes no. out oh, it's got 11 heads now another yes. one bites the dust bum, bum, bum. okay so is but it but it is currently yeah but it, oh, is it within right. range of out of the, the water oh no it can still operate perfectly fine on the water it's just like well, ah! Theron's gonna do his yes, thing now it, Yes, it it's is. With, it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot it with an ice beam. All right, so it needs uh, to. So that's uh, it's got to make a con saving throw. Okay, what's the number it's got to make? Uh, what's your save DC, to Theron? The creature what? takes four d six cold. No, down. I need to know the DC. What's of... your casting stat? Charisma, right? Uh, your charisma, that's uh, twenty, right? So it has a DC eighteen saving. It's a saving throw. Okay, you uh, said it was a con save, correct? Yes. yes. Makes it. Just Still barely. takes half the damage, though. Okay, so roll 4d6 and take half the damage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's rolling for you? Or? No, oh. the monster Ooh. takes damage. So uh, please roll me that damage and half it. Oh, I gotta roll because it. Because it is yeah. your it, Yeah, it's attack. your attack. I was like, wait. Remember, James, you can do that every turn. So just So what it. Julian until is it goes saying away. is do it all the time. Until it goes away. Yeah, do it before until it goes uh, away. Three and three is six. And two is eight, Faith. and Just one is nine. So the four. wherever he's standing, within fifteen yeah. feet of him, is considered difficult terrain. Okay, I get it. And that creature's speed is still halved, if I remember yes, correctly. That's kind of not worth it for four damage. Okay. This is something good. Let's see again. At well, least it's damage that does not make another head spell. And the spell does not say you can't make an attack roll while you're while you have. Do you have bonus or no? Well, does that not count as my attack? It's an action. So that would Do you have, have bonus be... So you could attack instead of using that on your next turn. Yeah. So that's I would recommend trying that because you have reach, meaning you can attack from ten feet away. Great. Uh, so you moved back and then did some frosty wind. Haha. -ha. You are a, you are an ice you are an ice cold. Does Theron enjoy being let an ice mage? Let it go. I think he does. Let um, it go. Well, it's the Hydra's turn now. Oh boy, I just um, made it mad. Yeah, you made that totally Yes, but you could also move away because you're not in its threatened zone. It's going to, for half speed, use half of it to get up. And then so I got a quarter a, speed. Yeah, I got a <laughs> uh, Five who feet. is closest. Hal's closest. Not me. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's on his neck. legs. And unfortunately, it's for falling you, now, right? You're drinking. No, it's on the ground already. Oh. Isn't he still underwater? Oh, yeah, we never did anything. We've never with had rumbles. anything with him, so we can just say he's underwater with me. Yeah, Rumbles never did get out of the water. Yeah. Okay, so we did, we forgot about Rumbles entirely. I'm going to link up. It died Valkyrie. from the rain. Rumbles is like, I'm oh. going to link up with him underwater. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wouldn't, Rumbles? Wouldn't Rumbles have taken the 15 thunder? We don't know because we didn't do anything with Rumbles. That's the problem. He was in Rumbles a has PTSD right now, okay? Not existing Rumbles has PTSD. He's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> He's we forgot he existed. Yeah, sure. that, that's the problem. So we can't rule damage he, or anything. The universe like, forgot it existed. No, metagaming. He, he was temporarily stunned from the loud boom yep. underneath the water. He got okay. scurred. Your teachers, when you were kids, always told you, never make loud boom booms in the water. <laughs> or silent boom booms in the water. Because <laughs> <laughs> then this is a turn. Oh, look, I found a quarter. <laughs> that's not a quarter. Uh, so, uh, that would, the closest person would be Howl. Yo. By who? Is this thing looking badly hurt or uh, what? Uh, I, it's. I got a feeling we haven't bad, done that. Much. But it's still, it's still locked. It's just because it's the Hydra. Yeah. It's just, once, once, the, once it's. Uh, I will oh let God. you know in description okay. when it's getting there. It is going to come at you, Howl, with so many heads. <laughs> Eleven heads. Rebuke the violence. Oh yeah, rebuke the violence, violence. Okay. happening now. Oh, I, I know that, Julie, but I still have to. On go. the first attack. Okay. So hold off on the second attack. So, uh, what does rebuke the violent do? Um, it has to make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, it takes all the damage. If it passes, it deals it uh, deals half the damage. Okay, what's the number it's got to make? Thirteen. Thirteen. No Makes it. Yeah. Well, that means it only deals half damage. So. Yeah. Which is? To the well, the first attack misses. Oh. 
Yeah. Well, is that for the whole, for one single attack? Or if it's attacking multiple times. I think it's, it just says the attacker of another, so... So it actually that would work then. One so hydra, I guess, it should be the entire thing. Yeah, because if it's as long as it makes attacks, it's going to activate. So... <laughs> For each head, it's dueling half damage. It's still no, no, no. One hydra. It, it's depending, because it has to make a all wisdom... Because the, the, the thing is, all the heads are attacking you. It has to make those It has to make those save th uh, rolls. If it doesn't, it, the hydra takes damage. If it makes it, you take half damage. So yeah, Faith so. just has to do figure out if the heads hit, and then if they do hit, she has to figure out the math of how much damage you're going to take. This will result in more heads, I guarantee it. But the thing is, if it kills itself, it's funny. Penis joke. Okay. Because it just exploded in heads. So it does a good amount of damage, not enough to make a head spawn, though. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, right, because it, I misunderstood you what you said. What? Hmm. I misunderstood what you said. About what? You said he, you succeeded. I interpreted that as it succeeded the saving throw. No, it succeeds in hitting you. Oh. Yeah. It, was, it didn't make the saving throw. It okay. didn't make the saving throw. It succeeded in hitting you, though. But that doesn't mean Wait. all the heads hit and you, though. That's the problem. And you are total taking 14 away. piercing well, damage. <laughs> because I'm, uh, some of the heads failed, so then yes. they take the damage itself. Yeah. Which That's you what don't, happens right? when you fail the yes. wisdom, it takes all of its own damage. So um. you take no damage, and it takes the damage. If it passes the wisdom saving throw, it deals half damage. Did you mess up? But it didn't pass the wisdom. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It, it okay. takes some so great damage. I am Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it, Julian. <laughs> I am Lord Brain Farts. So you're lucky. You don't take the damage. <laughs> Today, I suck. I'm honestly okay. fine. <laughs> yeah, so you're good then. Yeah. You're just still happy. Oh, shit, like, it's a Hydra. Thank God, I'm not dead. I'm going to... Wrap, wrap yourself like around you, its necks. Choke you it out. You don't realize that if I get reduced to zero as the giant constrictor snake, I get reverted to my normal form, and I've still got the same hit points as I had before I transformed. Just any oh, really? spillover yeah. damage oh. you would take Moon from... Wall. Any spillover oh, okay. damage you would take from your wild has an elaborate illusion. Okay. Any spillover damage you would still take in your normal form, though. Well, yeah, but... I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've good. got 60 HP on this thing. That's a pretty hefty boy. Uh, I and I'm so. not even bloodied yet. That's so a that boy. was the Hydra's turn, correct? Yep. All right, Tilly. Stibbity stabby. Stibbity stab. Right gonna, in the hurt. Sh, gonna go in its ass. Right in the Kokoro that goes doki doki. What? <laughs> Extra attack. <laughs> you failed me for the last time box. again. What? Nope. Did neither neither work. Oh no. She go. <laughs> <laughs> she missed by an inch. Is Tilly drinking tequila? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it Seal Tequila. Tequila. Oh my god. It's oh. it's it's, it's, it's the salty brand. You would like to move. Tequila. Uh. There's literally nothing I could do. Okay. Even if a bunch good. of drunk seals. You could at least just like, you could move back. To hopefully get a little bit farther away from this uh, creature. Tequila. Because you did not move yet. Um, I'm gonna move to be within five feet of Hal. Okay. You're gonna move closer to the thing. Yes. Okay. Yes. And she, you will see exactly she's why. She's gonna go full balls to the wall, <gasps> and it's. I feel again. like no. you've got something. Well, partially. Which thing is it? <gasps> yeah. We'll go. We'll have. Uh, Kat that's do right. Thing when she comes back down. Because that's gonna help uh, both of you. Howl. You now have Tilly next to you. Kat, you're up. Yes, you're up. Your gummies. I feel like Julian. Did you roll for me? Uh, no. I don't think you even went. Like I feel like I feel like my turn was skipped. No, it wasn't. You oh. are after uh cat. Yeah, and cat didn't go. Never mind. What happened before was a trigger, a uh, triggered reaction. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. But no, cat, you are up. Okay. The rumbles. Okay. He's just like. <laughs> I'm gonna pat Rumbles on the head Grr. and tell him to run away. Oh, he can do that really easily. Now, at a glance, at the bottom of the lake, did the Hydra have a stash? No. Okay. In which case, time to wail on some Hydras, because I just remembered I have an insanely high armor class, so I should be fighting this thing face face to face. So. Show me the. Ah! Cover the book. So just. Eh. That and remember so the. I can look for something later. They. Not yet. Not unless I get into a good position with that. Because that could actually cause splash damage yeah, and kill no, that'd people. that'd be bad. But mm -hmm. Given how you have melee fighters. <laughs> I did it on everybody there. 
Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the way you say that, it makes it sound like it's doing 100 damage. Today, I thought. Today, I thought. Regardless. Well, grenades are 5d da uh, damage. Oh, uh, kind of. Uh, moving up, and I'm going to attack this little thing in its bum bum. You're gonna Attacking it in its, in its bum bum. What is this, Dark Souls? Again. Attack the bum bum! Actually, no, it's Bloodborne because you can attack that monster pig in, in the butt and it's an insta kill. 22 hit it? It's yeah, gross. you go through its squishy reptile. Sounds gross. I hit its, it is. I hit its cloaca. Um, the thing is, the pig squeals. As you, for better or worse, there's no way to put it, penetrate it. There's like, <laughs> there's, there's, for better or worse way to put it, <laughs> well, when you penetrate it, you guys on the surface just hear a blood curdling. <laughs> <laughs> It screams in Hydra. <laughs> it screams in Hydra. Okay. It screams this in Hydra. This is stupid, but it's taking 24 piercing damage. From being magical piercing damage. <laughs> and remember when we were talking damage. about grenades earlier? Yes. Oh, no, he I'm going to stick a grenade in, in its bum. <laughs> and then pull the pen. Quick, quick, just, 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 be, just remember, wash your hands. I'm underwater. And remember... And now I'm going to <laughs> make an extra attack because I can do that with the with the uh, with uh, as different. a level eight mage knight. I so what you're as an action you're just gonna shove the grenade nope. up there. Move remaining movement. <laughs> Fire in the bum. Okay. And then Hold the pin and afterwards I'm gonna swim away because Zephyr Strike. Um. And then get the fuck out of there. Oh shit. I'm gonna make one more attack against him now. Okay. Higher. Okay, what's your total? Uh, 19 piercing. Okay, good. And I'm going to swim away. And considering this thing is in its anus, I don't think it's going to be dodging with the explosion. Julian, sure. Can you imagine? Okay, so uh, those of you on the ground, as the, you see the hydro let out of the Oh, they don't see any of this. <laughs> well, they see a couple of things happen. They hear the hydra, all of its neck just kind of contorting down and rearing back up in pain. You see its hind quarters just kind of, kind of uh, give way behind eh. itself, like one leg is like, eh, as it kind of stumbles around, and you start to see a large trail of blood oh boy. start to go behind it. Oh boy. It followed they by that Oh no! Oh. Oh no! Oh, yeah. That much blood? Okay. It does say when a creature is bloodied. He's blood. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use uh two key points so uh I don't go crazy because <laughs> okay, I so could use it for wisdom. Yes, you can. Uh, okay. How much did you roll? Uh, that's gonna be over twenty something. So oh yeah, I'm gonna you're be fine. good. I I'm just not gonna do the math for it. You're just like stare. I'm just like no. No. I don't wanna. Not today. <laughs> I eat the booty later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, ow. Boom on my next turn because it's a six second delay. <laughs> I'm constricting it. Okay. For uh, those of you so disappointed with that game, well, those of you, well, you're huge creature on huge creature. I'm <laughs> going to. <laughs> take it how. To no, interpret it how you may. Kaiju, got it. Wait a minute. You're, you're yes. grappling it? Yes. yes. It is Kaiju on Kaiju. I, I'd recommend moving. There's a site for that. Yes, I know. There's a site for everything. I'm honestly fine. Okay, so uh, you see just blood coming out of its rear end. Gross. Yeah, for for mm -hmm. intents and purposes, and it's visibly in pain. That's intense. gay, but not gay enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call you blood, but uh, that's no, gay, but not gay enough. Yeah. Sixteen to hit. So I rolled 2d8 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And the target is grappled. <laughs> but maybe not. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. that's really Stay good. Near maximum. Um, maximum damage. Does it need to make any saving throw? Hold on, hold on. 15, 19 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, no saving throw. It's just grappled. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Escape DC 16. Oh, now it can't scratch at its butt butt. Until this grapple ends, the creature is restrained and the snake can't... I didn't even think I, I would do it. <laughs> like, I'm like, no, I'm not doing so, it. So, as so long as it's grappled, it's also restrained. 
maybe okay. it's indigestion. Mm. Which means it can't take reactions. This is, this is gonna bring new meaning to explosive shits. Oh my god. So <laughs> oh. Uh, Taku. Explosive Your diarrhea. Turn. I cannot oh, believe okay. I literally just did that. So. <laughs> like, I'm in the ass. <laughs> diarrhea. It's Julian. Like a grenade. Okay, if I, I would have done that too. I would have. I would throw grenades down its throat and up its butt. So. I had an extra attack and another extra okay. attack. What was I supposed uh, to do? Hmm. Ron? Is there anything around me that I can see? Anything heavy? Your Nothing? friends. <laughs> your friends? <laughs> Where are your friends? Oh, a little and bit over there. Will you forget about the head slicing thing? <laughs> I'm going to show some full... <laughs> Thanks, Phil. I'm going to show full support of this action by stepping ten feet away. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, you, you might want to leave because of the thing I'm going to do. Actually, I want to see okay. if I can find the head that is missing the eye. Oh, sure. You can roll your free perception check. Okay. Um, That's going to be... Uh, 20 on the die. Yeah. I mean, uh, 20, uh, 20 mod. Yeah, you can, <laughs> 20 uh, I was like, wait, man. Yeah, you can find the, the head that has the, uh, the one that you can see rip the eye out of, which is the fourth head. It seems to be a little bit in the back from how the, the Hydra's heads are rearing and retching in okay. pain from the, uh, Because what I kind of wanted to do was get a look at it. From bleeding. <laughs> oh, so know, whatever you want to each other. Anal fissures. <laughs> anal fissures, anal work. No, because I kind of wanted to inspect it a little more, but because of all the attacks, it's like I couldn't really actually well, look at it. Well, now that it's on land, you can get a little bit of a better look at it okay. um, from your distance. Because I want to see, because like that I took it out of of the head, I want to see like what about it was like, we're putting it back, stop it, or like anything. Well, no. from what you Well, obviously, mean, that's going to be too hard to do. I mean, you could try to shove it back in, but... uh. From where the the black <laughs> void in the uh, eye socket that it's what? missing the Jeff. What are you laughing at? It looks like there Go is ahead. another. Say what you want. The uh, Jeff. Black stone with a hole through it, similar okay. to the one that you put in the wall to open up the first gates. Ah, uh, okay. It's from purple stone. But like out of that socket, it's just bleeding. Oh, okay. Like from the hole. Like, you imagine, like, your puke <laughs> bleeding out. Stop. That's how it looks. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, hmm. it's going to get downright messy if you have to go up and get there. That's oh. true, yeah. Um, uh, I'd recommend hmm. everybody not being near it when yeah, it's my turn again. because of two things. One, boom, second off there. And <laughs> yeah. Well, each of these heads, when they sprouted, did they still have these shiny white sea glass eyeballs? Yes. Okay. It's only the one that he the, the one that I the eye out. It's Squinty Pete. <laughs> that one is specifically Squinty Pete, that head. The rest, the, is the rest of it is Pete. One-eyed Willie. <laughs> no. No, uh, it's Squinty Pete. <laughs> no, we, we established that one's Squinty Pete specifically. That head alone. The rest of it is just Pete. Uh, I didn't care enough to name the rest of them. <laughs> I'd have to think of a new name every time. All of the heads are Abacada. Squinty Pete. <laughs> you are all, all right. collectively known as Squinty Pete. Well, it's uh, Squinty uh, Pete. Hmm. Pete right Jabbity, Jabbity, Jab, Jab, Jab. God damn it. Let's see. Because um, he has it restrained how? How do, how do you have a con- uh, like grapple? Constricted. The... You know constrictors. No, snakes. yeah, around no, but snakes. like, but like, so it's like next. around his whole body or something, or or like just around the legs. I, I, think I imagine that I'm like, like coiled around its lo- like body and its necks. Okay. Like, right, like where the neck starts. Yeah, like from. Bite it. Imagine a constrictor snake trying to uh, grapple a. Uh, yeah, cheetah okay, or something. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm yep. gonna see if I can use both my harpoons and help with Your that glorified swallow thing. tie. Like, help with that grapple. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Pull I'm gonna tight. grapple the, he- the head that I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. So, so you, like, just ch- like just choke it out. Just so help choke it out. So you're basically gonna fire both of your harpoons yeah. at the fourth head. Yeah. Julian's okay. Need sure. Go ahead. Coffee. You would have disadvantage because that is a cold shot. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> damn, I feel like I should have kept that one. In case, in case it matters, right because it's restrained, it, Ooh, you also had damn. advantage on the roll. So it's just a straight up roll. Okay, it would just be a straight roll. Oh, right? really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Then just take that one. Okay, cool. Then that one critted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because the thing is, you said it disadvantage. I was like, well, i got to make the second roll, so I'll just well, take this one. about to bounce another time. All right, but that had to do with the other one, because that's what I said. Yes. So that's uh, yeah, action and bonus had. action. Yes. Nope. That one's cocked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm immune to once. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crit again. What the fuck? Yeah. Get riggedy, riggedy, wrecked. I tried. Roll your damage. Okay. 
Oh, oh God! Yeah. Oh wait, uh, Harper, yeah. we described he tried, spears, right? and then they died. Okay. We described it as spear damage. Shit, I keep forgetting the spear. It's just range spear. <laughs> piercing. That's a yeah. spear, right? No, piercing. Piercing. But I forgot what exactly the spear is. Piercing damage what. for a spear. Yeah, I forgot piercing. what that was. No, like, no, like, like D8. How much 1d8 is a spear, 1d10 1D is, a, is a glaive, and one and 1d12 is a lance. 1d8. It would be 1d8. Okay, 1d8. Okay, so. Plus your dex mod. Right. The, you know 1d8 what plus that. Okay, that's why I was like, what, what die I had to roll? I'm like, okay. So you would what, effectively so roll 1d8. 4D8. You would effectively roll 4d8. Oh, yeah, that's right, 4 because it's crit. Uh, what is your dex mod? Uh, dex mod is. Um, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dex, yeah, uh, plus you five. told the joke. <laughs> so you get a vast empty one. void of silence. Right, because that's the crit. Because that's yes. that, so. It responds the same to my sorrow. I'm 7 plus 4. Left. Oh, that's 11. Uh, okay, just give me the total. Yeah, no, I'm trying to do 7 plus 5, that's 12. So, uh, what, that's 11, 12, so 23. that's 23, plus 10 is 32. I won't argue with you. No, 33. So, 33 total. Uh, all right. I had to grow yeah, a head. head. <laughs> no, it actually doesn't. Oh. It doesn't grow another head this time. <laughs> and that? it grows. We're going to make it so many heads. <laughs> it's going to be Probably huge. Probably because you know it's bleeding out of its rear end. <laughs> It's gonna be Mimi. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. I love Hydras. Hydras are great. We're bringing yeah. Hydras back. Hell Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> and Look at this Hydra. So many heads. So many beautiful heads. I'm gonna. I mean, it, it, folks, I, like, uh, you, uh, no one gets more heads on the Hydra <laughs> than me. Okay. We're folks, gonna build a wall folks. around the Hydra, and we're gonna make Theron pay for it. <laughs> They say, they say you can't cut off the heads to kill the Hydra. We're going to cut off the good. heads and we're going to kill the Hydra. It can't live without its heads. They say it grows back. It's not going to grow back because we're cutting off the heads of the Hydra. They say fuck. That doesn't really mean three. <laughs> Deals 30 damage to Hydra. Hydra grows another head. This has been the worst trade deal. Fake <laughs> new points the head. Stop. New head. Stop. 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 Abandoned thread. Abandoned thread. Give it back. It news. As you kind of. Do, do, your harpoons as okay. they get a nice clear shot into the the fourth hydra head, the one that has the bloody uh, hagstone. Now get over here so I can look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and what you're just like tightening. Just just, re just pretty much just pulling on it, so it's just choking right now. You hear a couple of bones in its <coughs> neck snap. Oh, oh boy. <coughs> oh Billy. As it struggles and thrashes against. Your chains. Good. Oh, Billy. <laughs> you guys are actually just making the explosion better. Just so you know. Uh, Rilla, <laughs> your turn. Sorry, Sorry, I'm still up in the air. I'm sorry, but this grenade's taking a while. Uh, <laughs> it's a six second This is all happening at once. We're taking so damn long to get through this turn. <laughs> this is the longest six seconds of my life. Uh, anybody, <laughs> need, anybody need heals? No, I'm good. So am I. I'm okay. <laughs> I made myself feel better. I mean, technically, I'm down to 32 hit point to 60, but that's just for speaking, constricted uh, snake. Owl is okay. Mm -hmm. Owl's fine. Yeah. How good? Are you? How good? Okay, how good. I is he though? Yeah. <laughs> is he though? <laughs> well, Do, can... like, I, I want, I want to, I need, I need to hear it from you, man. Are you okay? Howl's good. Right on. Um, is okay. Okay. I don't know. okay. Um... Is not in water, so you could use your breath weapon on it. I could. Because you have your boon from uh, the Tempest Dragon. Mm hmm. That lets you have don't do fire. either a. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to say not to do it. But you can either do lightning or fire damage with your breath weapon. Might as well use lightning. All right. Because I got lightning, it. Lightning, lightning, real lightning. Uh, how much of a distance do you have of your lightning shot? Um, I feel like it's the same thing as the as the breath weapon. Yes, it is. You're still a standard breath weapon. So how much range do you have on that? Uh, that is I'll an help you excellent out. question. I just need to consult. I'll help uh, you out for a sec. I need to consult, I, I need to consult the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just Wait. so you know, Theron, you are next in the initiative order. I need to consult my okay. council. Which is the top of <laughs> I'd, I'd recommend everybody being away from it at that point. Uh, well, we, well, I am. Cause, I'm uh, underwater. Um, assuming... assuming it a, uh, okay, it is a 30-foot line, so okay, you could yeah. get it. 
My heart goes right. can go because pretty far. Because it is based far. off and, of a uh, blue dragon, which and it has to do a deck save. Okay, cool. Disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Because it's a strain. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. It has to, it has so to yeah, escape gotta, both of us. So, uh, 16, it's gotta, it's gotta be... It's double restrained. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, do you have to roll to hit it? Uh, it's a saving throw. But yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, yeah the, with the breath? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's just see, it just has to make a saving throw. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Disadvantage. Double yeah. twice over because... It's just... Yeah, I only remember because my paladin from my other games of... And what is the number this dragon, he this hydra is uh, having a bad time. Mm -hmm. the Table talk. Okay, roll them dicey boys for your full out assault. Oh, this no. is going to be. A is lovely. this an all out attack? Are we doing an all out attack? We're not now? doing an all out attack. What do you think you are, the Phantom Thieves? Persona. Well, all out attack has been in every and since three. It's. A... No, I'm actually serious. No. I know. I think it. With my limited knowledge, right. I think so, yes. Uh, so it's, it's going to be... Joke. No, no, but actually maybe. me oh, think I got about six it. on the die. Am I adding anything else? You're rolling multiple dice. Just the... Uh... If you're looking at the w section for Dragonborn Breath Weapon, you're Hold rolling on. multiple dice. So you are level eight currently, correct? Yes, so 3d6. So you 3D6. Oh, okay, cool. So he's already rolled a four and a two on... Two, on 2d6. Two so you would be rolling another d6, and that would be your total damage. Right on. Now, quick question, Julian. Mm. How do grenades work? They go boom. Next to four. It's a concussion. No, no, it so depends on the type of grenade. Right. James. It's a concussion. Oh, wait. And shrapnel. Would lightning set it off? Depends if you actually hit the grenade, which is currently like, not. Up, up the thing's cool now. I would, I would. Okay, but would your lightning yeah. hit it? Depending on um, the, the not range unless of the there lightning. was something to conduct the um, lightning. Unle it's, unless it's unless it unless it's presenting like a mandrill with, with me hovering I, I over. So we'll say no. Over, so like he says in this um, particular situation, say no. Okay, yeah. that's why I was asking about the grenade. Say no. That's but right. it's probably so, gonna do extra damage because it's inside the creature. So, uh, Just how much it. damage did you roll for your lightning attack? Uh, ten. Ten. All right. All right, Theron. Okay. You're uh, up. I would recommend everybody not be near the the Hydra. Too late, dude. All right, well, you're probably going to get caught in this then, and for that I am I'm, sorry. I'm probably fine with it. <laughs> yeah. He's already been hit by one of our attacks. I am going to cast Storm Spear. Okay, so what Storm Spear do? Uh, a 20-foot radius sphere of whirling air springs into existence centered on a point I choose within range. Since uh, it is a huge-sized creature... The, ra the range for this is 150 feet. So. Oh, man, that is... A okay, so with how you can position it, you can actually probably position it in a way that it won't get howled. So, like, at the front of its uh, yeah. stomach area, so you can get its head. Well, I mean, I, I was just going to put it in the center of the hydra. I, okay, that's fair. I realize this is counterproductive to my own health, but I'm wrapped around this thing. Oh, yeah, you That's why I said everybody needs to get away from it. Hang, uh... But, um... The sphere remains for the spell's duration. Each creature in the sphere, when it appears or that ends its turn there, must succeed on a strength saving throw or take 2d6 bludgeoning damage. The sphere's space is difficult terrain. So both you and the Hydra have to make strength saving throws. Okay. I've got good and strength. Which I believe it has disadvantage on because it's restrained. And what is the Just number decks. it has to make? Uh, strength saving throw. Uh, or take 2d6 bludgeoning. What, what, I don't know what the number is. Uh, Julie, what did you say his spell save DC was? 18. Hydra does not make it. What's it now? What's it? 18. 16? 18. I 18. fail. Okay, so then you both take... Uh, 5 and 4 is 9. So both of them take 9 damage. Okie dokie. And until the spell ends, I can use a bonus action on each turn... To cause a bolt of lightning to leap from the center of the sphere toward one creature I choose within 60 feet of the center. The Hydra. Which is the Hydra. <laughs> Make... <laughs> no, fuck you! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> just because I don't know you that well. <laughs> I don't know you. No, you know how those drowned maidens feel. 
No, I, no, I'm attacking the Hydra. Okay. Uh, make a ranged spell attack. <laughs> You're a stranger um, and I don't know you. Just be a d20. <laughs> stranger danger. Full, pos- full posterity sake, that attack bloodied me. Okay. Okay. Uh, because so I'm a am I going to make a roll again? Because no. I'm wild-shaped, Wait, does that... Wait, you're not... Yes, you do. Fuck. Sorry, Taki. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, because even if I do low, like, my wisdom is pretty good. One at a so. time, Theron. Alright, so I gotta make a ranged spell attack. Yes. That's a one. Ooh. I get the star. Give me the star. The oh, star. really? I get oh, the shit. star. Wait, where'd that put the star? You lost the star, I'm gonna be pissed at you, Johnny. No, it's somewhere here. I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so what does the star mean? It makes you immune to ones until So if you roll a one, one, you can so, re roll that. So I can't re roll it? You now. can't re roll this one. But any other but any other times you roll ones? For now on, you can re-roll those. Until someone else at the table rolls okay. one, and then you hand the star uh, to them. Yeah. Okay. I make a ranged spell attack. I have, oh, I have advantage on the okay. attack roll if the target is in the sphere, so I can roll again. Yes, yeah, so okay. you might not need the star. Once you roll I'm another one. 22 is going to be fine. For yep, okay, I got a 17. So, All right, okay. hit. got a 17 on the die, so you did star back. No, you, you have it until then. No, 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 no I got advantage. advantage. Oh, advantage. yeah, that's right, never mind. So I rolled a 17. All right, okay. so did that that's good. hit? Yes. Okay, cool. Hydra. On a hit, the target takes 4d6 lightning damage. Okay. Roll it. Roll all them boys. And uh, creatures within 30 feet of the sphere have disadvantage on wisdom checks made to listen. Wait, how many feet? 30. How far is that from me? Uh, you're out of range of that. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say, because like depending on where it was, I'm like, that would affect me. Yeah, no, that wouldn't affect uh, me. You're out of range. 4 and 4 is 8. Out. And 3 So this is 4. That's a 12. So you have 12. 12. 12 damage. Okay. 12 lightning damage. I'll just describe to you what happens now. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. count of the oh, grenade. and a yeah. count of boom booms. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> let me narrate it. Okay. Please. His okay. tummy has the rumbles. All right, Saren, you fire a bolt of lightning at the Hydra, correct? You set it off, man. You get it in the chest, and from your prescription precision strike with the lightning bolt yeah. it goes right <laughs> into, into its bum bum it, no, it goes into its stomach however as you do that it convulses a little bit and kind of jeers around like sh- something that's short circuiting into its body tick 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 <laughs> boom as you see a Massive explosion, half of the Hydra's body falling <laughs> off into the water. Specifically the rear half. <laughs> Just yeah. So there is from it's like from the middle of its body forward. You do realize it's gonna take credit for that. Slu- guys, I no, and I don't have the charisma to, fe- to destroy it. Is you just see the front portion of the Hydra slough forward, landing in a bloody heap on the shore. Oh. Are we out of initiative at this point? Yes. Congrats. The Hydra is slain. Yay! Keth and Rumbles I'm not hungry. for the water. Rumbles looks um, great. I said explosive blood. I'm like, I have to roll again. But you made a 19. I know, I did. So I'm Fate. good. Yes. Um, I'm oh. going to use... I'm going to, like, use... Give these wishes and using my snake body, I'm going to, like, go... Like... Bring my you head up to the. Didn't take Phil's advice. You didn't get up on the Hydra's back. Million shush. I'm gonna go up to the head that has the eye. Yeah. Hey, and I'm gonna like I'm gonna try and pry it out using my jaws. Yeah. Oh, it pops out relatively. You know, I'll do that for yeah, the two just, that I have. Just take them all. Let's just loot the eyes. Yeah. Well, cause... all of the eyes that were the gemstones one, they were normal. Eyes. They had turned into normal eyes. You could oh, see gross. That, uh, Never mind. Reflective, oh, uh, so there are no more gem eyes. No, there are no except more. Except the one I have. Yes. And okay. that be the I'm going to. Squinty Pete. I'm going to throw that eye to one of you guys. Eh. What eye? He's in range. Wait, so what are you throwing? The one that was still in the Hydra, the Hagstone. Oh, oh, oh that's the that black one. Squinty Pete didn't grow two eyes. Right, no, the one something replaced it. Yeah, Squinty Pete only had the one eye because that was the head that you had the gem out. Yeah. So, all right. I'm taking that eye that's like not a normal eye and I'm throwing it to one Wait, of no, you. Wait, no, that guys. was the head that I held. I remember that. Yes. Because I called that. Yes, so I had did. that head still. Yeah, you had okay. it like in gravel, so but. Right. 
he went up with his jaws okay. and dropped it and No, that's what I make sure. I was like, all right, so I have so I held on to that one. So collectively, you guys have the hag stone. You need to open up the second vine wall. Question. Yeah. Do Did the to... Hydra have a horde? No. Okay. Hydras aren't um, smart. Okay. As you guys are While... just getting your collective together, you can just kind of see a black serpentine head poking out of the water, staring at your group. Hi. Hail and well met, my friend. Just disappears. And darts under the water as you just see a very long black really? body. Oh, I Remember what we said something. before about sound traveling really fast in water? He got a track. You that. also showed him the reverence that he asked for. So he's oh, bound yeah. by that. Yeah. Mm. So we did a good thing. You did a good thing because otherwise he would have become hostile. Maybe he was watching oh. it for entertainment's sake. Yes. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Do you feel as though we have pretty good. I will let you know. <laughs> we better. Before we finish, yeah. um, heads. I'm going to revert back to Howl. Yes. Uh, yes, I put the... I'm out of the water can now. I, can I, and I ask one of my compatriots, can okay. I borrow a knife? Oh, here you go. Dagger. Okay, you now have a knife. What are you going to do with the knife? I'm going to kill myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to try and get scales, no, hides, uh, fangs, uh, eyeballs. Well, there's no eyes in it. They kind of dissipated. Oh. They were uh, the no, no, remember, because I was Everything. the only one to actually grab the one. Oh, the, shit. The, the, like, not like not like gem eyes. I mean, like oh, you just want the eye actual eyes. eye. Yeah. Oh, he just wants to uh, take out an actual hydra eye. No, that's what they were all. How? All the eyes. As you, you're from doing the... that, you I... actually feel a tiny finger tap you on the shoulder. You're forgetting the fangs and the horns. Are you... there horns? No, nah, there are no horns. You're forgetting like the fangs. There are definitely hydra I'm teeth. Trying... Yeah. yeah. Yes. Not those. If I learn through... anything from Jason and the Argonauts, anything, you get the teeth. <laughs> anything that's worth. It had twelve heads. There better be some fucking teeth. Any anything that <laughs> has any monetary value, I'm trying to. I, I will get back to you on that, just so I know. And I'll help character. you. Does anyone want to help? How I'll do it. That? I'll help with that. So uh, three of you guys. I was actually going to do that. Same. They're same. Per- just standing there, like still in awe. Like I did not anticipate blowing it up. <laughs> no. Oh. Actually, just hit- hold on. You, you actually hear from the it. staff. Well, damn, son. <laughs> <laughs> that a, was her spell, by the way, that did that. And just a, you before you yeah. had a slow clap, now it's a... His internal monologue is, Slayer of Hydras. And Slayer that's of monsters. where we'll end yep. for the evening, guys. Yeah. Good night, Hydra Slayers. Yeah, Hydra. So he's just like, farewell!